So very good morning everyone. So let us start with the revision of the most important three chapters. So let us start the revision of most important three chapters in Companies Act. Number one, general meetings. Number two, share capital. And number three, prospectus. In general tendency, share capital and prospectus will be coming for 12 marks to 15 marks in exam, both put together. 12 marks to 15 marks in exam. General meetings will come for another eight marks in exam. So eight plus 14, almost around how many marks will come? 20 to 22 marks will come from these areas. If you leave this, you can understand how damaged it will be. Listening? So we are going to cover three chapters now. Okay? So three chapters will be covering 20 marks pakka in examination. Okay? Small, small sections, uh, easy sections I will cover fast. If some section requires some discussion, definitely we will spend some time and try to explain the concept. And how the past exam questions came also, I will let you know. Three chapters we are going to complete as a target first. Listening. Uh, first one will be general meetings. Second one will be share capital. Third one will be prospectus. These are the three areas we are going to begin with. Before going into that, first, let us start with the concept of general meetings. Please, open your study material or whatever the material you have. Incorporation chapter 3, 4 sections are still there. We have to connect appropriate place. I will only tell that. Open the general meeting chapter. Come to section number 96. Come to section number 96. Have you come to 96? Uh, study material. Sir, whether study material or bear act, wherever you have, come to 96 section. Okay? Our target is, see here, we have to cover from section number 96 to section number 122. 96 to 122. All the sections we have to cover. Listening, that covers the area called as a general meetings. Okay, we have to cover that. 96 to 122 is the targeted set. We have to complete that. And the time allocated for that is 2.5 hours. In this, we have to cover each and every concept inside that. I am not going to leave even a single section. Each and every section from 96 to 122, we are going to cover in the today's class. Listening, okay. Target at least by 11.30 we have to complete this particular area. Such that I will start with a new area after that, share capital and prospectus. Listening, uh, uh, that will also be taking a good amount of time because there are 40 sections in that. Okay, 45 sections almost, 50. 50 sections are there, we have to cover them. Once covered, time permits, I will cover some small, small areas and I will close. Okay, main areas, the difficult areas, the tough areas will be completed with them. Lastly, what will be remaining means preliminaries, uh, one section, debentures, uh, like that. Clear or not everyone? Okay. So before going into that, let us first try to have a clear understanding of what we are going to do in the today's session. Three chapters of Companies Act. Number one, general meetings. Number two, chair capital. Number three, prospectors. Okay. So let us start with that concept. Uh, in the notes, keep the heading, general meetings. Summary, whenever required, we will make you to write. Otherwise, we will directly continue. Keep the heading, general meetings.
okay general greetings one by one let us have a clarity i will also write along with you general meetings what is the section we are going to cover 96 in classroom normal classes regular classes i i follow a different sequence for general meetings i will first start with 101 if you remember notice after that 102 103 104 after that 105 106 114 112 113 like the different sequence we will follow in the regular class okay in the middle we will come to agm ecm etc but revision class na we will go in the normal sequence 96 to 120 means really will start from 96 to 122 except to two sections 108 and 109 sorry 108 and uh, uh, 108 and 110 except these two section i will follow the same sequence 108 to 110 we will discuss at last what is that 108 to 110 electronic voting and postal ballot electronic voting and that itself we will discuss at the last remaining all in a sequence we are going to complete today shall we let's start what is the section number 96 in this 96 what you can expect in exam see here 96 section la write down one by one number 1 what is the top covered in 96 agm number 2 topic covered is agm okay next first agm time limits first agm time limits within within 9 months from within 9 months from close of first financial year within 9 months from the close of first financial year subsequent agms subsequent agms simply we call it as a time limits there are three time limits first one one agm in every calendar year gap between two agms so it is like i am writing the notes till and write gap between two agms shall not exceed 15 months AGM within six months from the close of relevant financial year. Whichever is earlier, whichever is earlier, one AGM every calendar year. Gap between two AGM should not go beyond. 15 months agm shall be held within 6 months from the close of relevant financial year how many dates are there three dates three dates la what will apply whichever is earlier that date will be the date of holding subsequent agm are you listening everyone okay i will write one numerical illustration at the end of this section but before that tell me what is the topic discussed in 96 answer agm first agm should be held within Nine months from close of the first financial year. For example, I incorporated today. Today, what is the date? Eighth April. Answer. Eighth April, twenty twenty-four. Eighth April, twenty twenty-four. We come incorporated our company. Our first financial year ends on thirty-first March, twenty twenty-five. From there again, how many months time? Nine months time they will give. Is that enough? Ah, but normal subsequent EGM. From the end of financial year, how many months will we need to conduct? I repeat, normal AGM. Within how many months we need to conduct? Uh, six months. But here, from the financial year end, how many months will you can? That means already three months extension is included in that. Therefore, again, all the extension is not possible. Here, since three months is not added, 
here ROC extension by not exceeding three months. Right now. ROC extension by not exceeding three months. ROC extension by not exceeding three months. Number four. Number four. Place, date, time. Tell me, place, registered office or city or town or village where RO is located. Registered office or city, town or village where hmm, RO is located. Because reason is very clear. Reliance like companies, if you see, there are 32 lakh shareholders are there. How can they accommodate a building? Are you understanding or not? Even if 1% attended the meeting, 36 lakhs, 36,000 it will be. Which room you will ask them to sit? Bata building. Eh? So therefore, it is not possible. Practically impossible. Therefore, they will conduct in stadiums, auditoriums, etc. Clear or not? So place, registered office or city, town or village where registered office is located. Date. Any date not being a national holiday. Any date not being a national holiday. Time. Business hours. Time. Business hours. Time, business, hours. Okay. Let me check the bear act. If any untold important concepts are there, we'll also discuss that. That's all. All the concepts are completed. So tell me now. One by one. Answer. Like this, we are going to write the summary for this chapter. Okay. At the time of exams, you need not read books and books. You can directly read. Because charts are not there for this chapter. I didn't write. Okay. Let us read one by one. First, what is the topic covered in 96? EGM. What is the first EGM day? Nine months from the end of financial year. Which financial year? First financial year. What is the time limits for conducting subsequent EGM? Answer, yeah. First thing, point number one. Subsequent EGMs, three dates are there. Number one. One EGM must be conducted in every calendar year. Last year, one meeting conducted. This calendar also one meeting should be conducted. One meeting in every calendar year. Next. And uh, second date. Two AGMs gap can't go beyond 15 months. Condition two. Number three. Within six months from the end of the relevant financial year. Three dates will come. Last date will be the earliest date. Last date will be earliest date. That's why we will write whichever is later, whichever is earlier. Whichever is earlier will be the last date for holding the subsequent AGMs. Clear everyone in the class? Done. We completed section now. 96. Come to 97, 98 and 99. Okay, well. Uh, first point. Listen, point number one, what we are going to discuss in 97, 98, 99. 97, 98, 99 are one set of sections. Okay, what is this? Listen, I will first discuss about 97, 98. 97, 98 I will first discuss. Listen, what is 97? What is 98? Number one, if AGM is not held within the time limits, everyone repeat, if the AGM is not held within the Within the time limits, everyone repeat. If the AGM is not held within the time limits, mentioned in which section? 96. Then any member of the company can make an application to the tribunal. Can make application to the So why members will make? What we they will get? What they will get? A fool will ask that question. Dividend will be paid in AGM. No, no AGM, no dividend. Accounts, I should see what happened during the year. No AGM. No accounts. Who run the company? 
Our directors are reappointed in AGM. No AGM, no directors. Auditors will be there. No AGM, no auditors. So you should not ask that question. What will get to the shareholder? Shareholder will die if AGM is not held. Therefore, whenever AGM is not held within the time limits mentioned in the section, then any member who felt assaulted or oppressed, he can make an application to the tribunal. Tribunal will order the company to conduct the AGM as soon as possible. If company is not conducting, tribunal can conduct the AGM of the company. Tribunal can conduct the AGM of the company. Up to here, everyone understood the point clearly. Yeah? Okay, read. If any default is made, read. If any default is made in holding the AGM of the company under 96, tribunal may not standing anything contained in this after articles on application of any member. What do you mean by on application of any member? No suomoto power. Suomoto means what? On its own, it cannot take a decision. Some complaint should come to it. On application by any member, call a meeting, the annual general meeting and give some ancillary directions. Provided that such directions may include the direction that one member of a company present in person or in proxy shall be deemed to constitute a meeting. Other things are not important. Main important thing, tell me, when section 97 attract, if AGM is held within the time limit, sir, AGM is not held within time limit, sir. Number one. Okay. Who, can, who will take a decision? Tribunal. When it will take a decision? On an application by any member. So, to possible, not possible? Not possible. Listen. Uh, number one completed. What it will do once you make an application? It will give the directions to conduct the AGM. It will give directions to conduct the AGM. Okay. This is the point. Everyone understood the point clearly? Those directions may also include that one member may also be treated as a quorum. Generally, quorum means how many must be there? Two must be there to form a quorum. But this is an emergency situation. You are not conducting AGM. Yeah. Therefore, tribunal may tell, even if one member attends the meeting, continue the meeting and complete it. Because importance for us is accounts approval, dividend payment, director's appointment, and auditor's appointment. Listening or not? Uh, that's the point. So, 97 section completed. We will write uh, separately both. What is 98? So, first you tell me 97 section intention. Everyone understood? Yes, I am not going to spend more than one and a half, two minutes on a section. If you go here and there, section A will be completed. Please listen. Section we are coming in. 98. What is 98? 98 is not about AGM. Other than AGM. Other than Conducting the meeting is impracticable. Everyone repeat. Conducting a impracticable. It is impracticable to conduct a meeting. In such a situation, we will go to the tribunal and ask a tribunal, show some uh, uh, remedy. Sir, why impracticable? I will first read the section. After that, we will write the simplified notes. Comparison between 97 and 98, we will write. Okay. You can also understand the difference. See here. If for any reason it is impracticable to call a meeting of the company, when I say to call a meeting, he is selling a meeting, not annual general meeting. Other than annual general meeting. Other than annual general meeting. Uh, now tell me, it is practicable to call a, impracticable to call a, impracticable to call a meeting of a company other than annual general meeting in any manner in which meetings of the company may be called or held or conduct a meeting of the company in a manner prescribed by actor articles, tribunal may either sue motto or on application of any director or member of a company who would be entitled to vote at the meeting, order meeting of the company to be called, held, and conducted in the manner as the tribunal directs. That's the main concept. First, read this particular paragraph. If you have the study material with you, please read that. Main content only, read. From the exam point of view, what is important? Read that and leave. Read only the first paragraph.
ओके आंसर अंडरस्टूड फर्स्ट राइट ऑन द नोट्स की द हेडिंग इवन इफ यू डिडंट अंडरस्टैंड आई विल मेक यू टू अंडरस्टैंड नाउ राइट ऑन पर्टिकुलर्स सेक्शन 97 98 यू शुड नो द डिफरेंस फर्स्ट वन थिंग बिफोर वी स्टार्ट वन टाइम इन द एग्जाम हिस्टरी दिस क्वेश्चन इज नॉट टेस्टेड हम टिल नाउ देयर इज नो एग्जाम क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस मीनिंग इज व्हाट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम इफ सम क्वेश्चन डजंट कम टिल नाउ व्हाट डज इट मीन बैकग्राउंड इज नॉट देयर फॉर दैट इट मींस हाउ क्वेश्चन विल बी कमिंग इन द टेरियल यू डोंट नो suddenly new question will come but uh, those attempts are only difficult attempts do you know what is a difficult paper a paper which does not cover any past exam questions is a difficult paper difficult mean difficulty won't come from sky difficult paper is a paper where questions does not come from your past exam questions rtp mtb from that one question also will not come that paper is a difficult paper from the students point of view why to give chance i know which questions didn't come in exam till now let us concentrate on that first are you understanding or not you take the question i have a, I, my question bank is also there in the question bank you see there is no question on 97 and 98 why there is no past exam question okay therefore we should understand the difference first what is the difference between 97 and 98 or when this will be attracted so we write right on Number one, when section attracts, hmm, don't just write a answer and write non-holding of AGM under section ninety-six, ninety-eight. It is impracticable to hold. meeting number 2 number 2 number 2 are you ready everyone not ready to copy ready to answer ah uh, tell me second one. which meeting is covered Ah, uh, first case. Ninety-seven. Which meeting is covered? AGM. Only AGM. Only AGM. Ninety-eight. What is covered? Another. Right now. Other than AGM, that is. Ah, uh, other than AGM, that is. Hmm. Wrong. Creditors meeting, committee meeting. EGMs all are covered. That's why section heading. If you see, calling the meeting by tribunal on the notice of members, etc. He said, not only members, members and others also will be covered. That's why etc. is there. Clear? Next, number three. Number three. authority to control uh, tell me who is the authority to control in both the sections nc lt are you all following nc lt when nc lt reacts hmm on application by member here so moto or application by member or director an application by member or director even director also can make application under section number 98 what nclt do both sides same answer give such directions to 
call, hold, and conduct the AGM. Give such directions to call, hold, conduct meeting. Okay. Done with it. Next, what we complete now? What we complete now? Ninety-seven and ninety-eight. Ninety-six completed. AGM. Ninety-seven completed. Ninety-eight completed. Now we are going into section number ninety-nine. Sir, when everyone, please answer. If AGM is not held within the time limits under ninety-six, what will happen? If ninety-six section like AGM is not held within the time, what will happen? Tribunal ki application has to be made. Who should make application? Member. Yes or no? Uh, sorry. Time limits are not followed. Punishment also should be there or not? Are they 99? Come to 99. If any default is made in holding the meeting in accordance with 96 or 97 or 98, means three sections read. Or in default, uh, or in complying with the directions of tribunal, Company and every officer who is in default should be punishable with a fine, which may extend to one lakh, etc., etc., etc. He said, "What we need to read for this penalty chart? Don't read now. Waste of time. Okay? Just write down the notes. Section 19. Refer penalty chart." Section 19. for penalty chart. Did you download penalty chart for the telegram group? Yes, Everyone? Yes, it is there. Download that when you read. Keep it with you. Whenever you complete the section, read also the penalties. Penalties is interpretation or remember. It's a memory. You have to remember. There is no choice. Listening? Huh? Yes, Even I also didn't remember. I remember all 470 sections of companies that accept penalties. Because I don't put any effort in remembering. Why I have to remember numbers? Yeah? Understood the point or not? I have to remember the content. At the time of examinations, you remember, leave it after exam again. But at the time of examination, for a student, I can't tell you, don't remember. They may ask questions also on penalties in exam. Listening? Huh? So therefore, what is my duty? I can give all penalties in one, pe one sheet. That I already have done. Not only that, I have given time limits, eligibilities, everything I have given. Whatever is a non-interpretation based, only memory based, remembrance based, already it's there in the telegram group. Listening? Uh, let us do the next one. Number four. What is the section we are going to start? Section 100. Whenever doubtfulness is there, I will tell, write down, May 24th, okay, this is a expected question. I will tick eight questions from this chapter. From that eight questions, 99% two questions will come in exam. In that first question is section number 100. Shall we start? Yes, Everyone. Yes, I am not going to explain any bare act now. I will explain the overall view of what is this particular section 100. Shall we begin? Yes, Listen carefully. Section 100. Write down first. Name of the section. Calling of EGM. Calling of EGM. Calling of EGM. What is EGM? Extraordinary General Meeting. Okay. In this EGM, there are two important points. No, not two. Three important points are there. The name. How many? Three important points will be there in EGM concept. First important point number one. Who can call for a EGM? Number one. Procedure for EGM. Number two. Miscellaneous number three. Yes, sir. EGM, tell me, general meeting must be held at which place? Yes, Where to hold general meeting? Yeah. Yes, no need. EGM can be conducted anywhere in India. Like there some miscellaneous points are there. 
for your understanding. Yes, Three things we are going to learn in EGM. Number one, who can call EGM? Second one, okay. procedure for EGM. That mean 10 percent who can call. 70 percent procedure. And okay, another 20 percent will be miscellaneous. Understood? I will do one thing. First we will cover part one, part two, part three. Three parts we will divide this section now. First one, point number one will be who can call a EGM? Right on. Number one. Who can call for EGM? Branch it into two parts. Board of Directors, Members. Board of Directors, Members. Board of Directors can call SOMOTO. Means whenever they require, they can call EGM. Yesterday we read in incorporation chapter, change of name, change of registered office, change of objects. Hey, everyone. What is the first approval required? Ah, like that board only will call. Board meeting will be conducted. Next to whose approval? Ah? Very good. Shareholders at a? Shareholders by passing special resolution. Where? On Sky, yeah? where they will pass? Ah, that means who should call a EGM now? EGM now? Who have directors? That's how. 90% of the cases, like board they will call EGM. Understood the point or not? So board, Sumoto can call. Okay? Listen. Which section we are reading? Section number 100. Okay. See here. One thing you have to remember is criteria. Board shall at the requisition made by. Requisition means written request. What it is? Written request. Requisition made by in case of company having share capital, members who hold on the date of receipt not less than one tenth of the paid up share capital of the company. This is important. One tenth of the paid up share capital. If company is having share capital, if the company do not have the share capital, not less than one tenth of the total voting power. Shall we write the notes, sir? Yes, sir. Write down. Members divide into two parts. Company with share capital, company with no share capital, company with share capital, write down, members holding not less than one tenth of paid up share capital, members holding not less than one tenth of Total voting power. Okay. Done. One important point completed here. Listening. Uh, these members are called as requisitionists these members are called as requisitionists in our class for understanding sake I will write them R every time I can't write that much big name whenever I write capital R in quotations it means we are right talking about requisitionists okay shall we continue uh, very 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 important how much part of section is completed now 10%. Another 70% main thing will come now. Okay? Write down. Number two. Procedure for EGM requisition. Procedure for EGM requisition. First listen. After that I will tell. This is important. Spend some time. 10 minutes time. Shall we? Everyone see the screen first. Either TV or screen, please. See there. 
procedure looks like this here. Now, listen carefully. Shall we? Whenever I will take this D0 today, requisition by hmm. they be in this class everyone requisition by requisition is first requisition is made an application request to whom right to whom yeah board of directors for what to call for a EGM to call for a EGM it received them okay let us say it received them after four days Okay, important date. This date is called as date of receipt of requisition. Date of receipt of requisition. First date is date of requisition. Second date is date of receipt of requisition. Both are different. Both are different. Once a requisition is received, board of directors shall proceed to call for the meeting. Shall proceed to call for the meeting within 21 days 21 days where they need not conduct a meeting they need not give the notice they should start making the arrangements for conducting the meeting that's why law uses the word proceed to call what it will use proceed to call are you listening everyone tell me who made requisition who made requisition made requisition it received by board of directors received it once received they should not sleep what they should do proceed to call proceed to call a egm within how many days 21 days from the date of receipt of requisition to hold the meeting or to conduct the meeting within 45 days to conduct the meeting within 45 days see here dates are important listen carefully for understanding sake what i will do is I will erase this. This I will call as day minus 4. I will call this day 0. 4 days before I send the notice received today. Understood the point? Uh, uh, within how many days? Uh, 21 days. This is the last date for board of directors to proceed to Call for EGM. Call for EGM. This is the last date for them to start making the arrangements. They should proceed to call. Listening, huh? such that meeting must be held within uh, meeting must be held within 45 days. Meeting must be held within 45 days. What is this? Last date to hold. Uh, EGM. Last day to hold the EGM. Listen carefully. Shall we? Uh, I gave you notice. Requisition. This is a last day to proceed to call. This is the last date for the EGM. Last date for the EGM. If uh, board of directors do not conduct the meeting as for the time limits. Then, requisition is themselves can hold the meeting. Requisition is can hold the meeting within month three. Within month three. That means technically within three months from the date of requisition. Means their date will start from from here within how many months uh, three months now what they can do requisition is themselves can call and uh, hold the EGM whenever they call it hold the EGM like this cost reimbursed by company by 
deducting from remuneration of directors. By deducting from the remuneration of directors. This is the 70% of the concept. Either they will tell in the form of an act, big, big paragraph answers will be there. First tell me, what is the overall procedure of a EGM? First tell me, what is the date one? <laughs> date of requisition. Who received that? Proceed to call within. Proceed to call within. Such that meeting will be held within. If the meeting is not held within 45 days, what right requisitions will get? They have a right to call and hold the meeting within three months from the date of requisition. Within three months from the date of requisition, they can call and hold the meeting in the way they want. For calling the meeting, they have to give the notices or not. That cost. For conducting the meeting, venue cost will be there. Huh? That cost. Other arrangements cost. Everything, first you bear. Later, who will reimburse? Company has to reimburse by deducting from the remuneration of the directors. Everyone understood the concept clearly? Write it down. That's the EGM section. First thing, everyone tell me, have you understood the procedure clearly? Yes, sir. Dates, everything. Yes, sir. Later you read the provisions, later after the class you can understand them very easily. Completed? Okay. Now what we completed here? Yeah? Procedure for EGM also completed. Okay. 
I will show you the procedure for EGM. See here. Listen. First two points, these things understood. Uh, see here. Board may, whenever it deem fit, that whenever it deem fit, we will call it as SOMOTO. Call an EGM. First point, had you written in the notes or not? Next. Limits. Who can call? Had we written or not? Yes. Next. Read subsection 3, 4 and 5. Two minutes time I will give. First, you have to confirm only one thing. Whether all the points on the screen are written in the notes or not. Six also, subsection six also you read. Fast. Confirm. Had all the points are covered in the notes or not? Yes, That's how it will be. If you read properly, one minute you can complete all these sections here. You are not understanding. Entire company is at seven hours. So you can complete before exam. Each chapter should not take more than ten minutes. Small chapters. Big chapter should not take more than one hour. Like this, if you read at the time of examination, okay, if you have confidence and read this, hardly this section will take around three to four minutes time. Beyond that, it will, how many minutes it has taken for you to read all these now? Hardly one minute time. Like that it will be completed. If you know the concept, it will be completed. If you don't know, the only problem will come. Intention of revision session is to make you understand all the sessions first. Are you understanding or not? That confidence will come. Yes, you know this section. With that confidence, you will read. Okay. Now tell me, had all the points in the section are completed or not? But some miscellaneous truth points are there from the rules. I will make them to you direct right down there. Miscellaneous. Number one. Number one. EGM may be held at any place in India. EGM may be held at any place in India. <coughs> okay. Next point number two. In case of, in case of wholly owned subsidiary of, in case of, important point, in case of wholly owned subsidiary of, wholly owned subsidiary of company incorporated outside India, wholly owned subsidiary of company incorporated outside India, EGM may be held outside India. EGM may be held outside India. EGM may be held outside India. Okay? That's all. Brackets are right now. Refer rules from ISM. Small so one or two rules will be there. You read that from ISM. So rule is what? Section, if you understand, on the section there will be some procedures. Just to read them from the ISM. But the main content, 95% of the content of EGM, everyone understood clearly or not? Yes, Tell me, whose EGM can be conducted even outside India? First thing to me, it's a holding a subsidiary. Subsidiary. In which country? In India it is. But the country holding company is in? Outside India, in such case, you can conduct the EGM also outside India because who is holding the shares? Company outside India. How can it come to India to conduct the meeting when all the members are outside India? Therefore, in such a case, it is enough if you conduct the meeting and if you hold the meeting in such a way that these people cannot go there. I mean, technically, those people can't come to India. Therefore, EGM of A, wholly owned subsidiary to A, Company incorporated outside India may be held outside India. Listening or not? In all other cases, in all other cases, Indian company EGM must be held only in 
India. Not in the registration office. You can conduct any place. That registration office restriction is there only in case of AGM. Not in the case of EGM. Understood the point clearly? This is the point, sir. So, one very, 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 very extremely important section has been completed. What is the section? 100. Tell me, what are the sections we completed? 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Overall, 20 sections, 5 sections over. Are you all confident up to here? Yes, sir. Next one. Keep the heading. Notice. Notice. I think you are having some amount of understanding of this section at least. Okay. Tell me first, notice must be given by whom? Notice must be given by whom? To whom? Not only members. Members, directors, auditors, legal representative of deceased members, everyone will be eligible. Okay. Let us write down one by one. Who will give notice? Board of Directors. Second question. Notice to whom? Members, legal representative of deceased member, official assignee of Insolvent member, any person authorized to attend the GM. Can you please tell me the names of other persons authorized to attend the GM? Auditors, directors, all will come under the third category. Number three. Number three, mode of sending the notice, mode of sending the notice, physically you send post, hand delivery, courier are the three modes. When I say post, postal what also will be included? Speed post, registered post. If it is in electronic form, you can send the notice through email. You can send notice through email physically if you want to deliver post hand delivery H E means what high definition huh? uh, H E presents what hand delivery directly you can go on hand and you can give the notice hand delivery third one courier speed post registered post general post can be there speed post can be there registered post can be there courier can be used directly go and give on hand what all these are you all listening and writing? Yes, uh, tell me, point number one. Who will give the notice? Board of Directors. Notice to whom? Member, legal representative of deceased member, official assignee of insolvent member, any other person authorized to attend the meeting, like directors, auditors, venture trustees, etc. Okay, next. Mode of sending the notice. How to send the notice physically? Post, hand delivery. Courier, speed post, registered post, etc. Next, uh, e-form. Electronic form means WhatsApp you should not send. That's why clearly written. WhatsApp, Telegram not allowed. What's allowed? Email, Email only allowed. Very well. Show the concept clearly. Done with the concept. Mainly, another two points are there. Time limits. Most important, you know, so many times it was tested in exam. Time limits. 
How many days before you need to send the notice? Not less than 21 clear days before the GM. Clear days. Clear days. La? Four important things will be there. Exclude date of notice. Exclude date of GM. Exclude postal transit day one. Exclude postal transit day two. How many exclusions have to be made? Four. Simply total. Exam look question came. How to do? Date will be given. One date. Add two days first. How many days? Sir? Two days. The two days will be for the postal transit dates. What dates? Sir? For example, today what's the date you said? 8th April. Huh? Ah, they gave question on 8th April. Like this you have to count. 8th you should not count. That will become the date of notice. 9th you should not count. Postal transit day 1. 10th you should not count. Postal transit day 2. From 11th you need to count. And the last general meeting date will be given in the question. That also should not take. Means how many days are excluded? After excluding all these, 21 days should be there. Listening or not? Uh, tell me, how to count? What should be excluded? Date of notice. Postal transit day 1. Postal transit day 2. 3 days excluded. Last date again. That also should be excluded. In this exclusions after clearly you should find how many days sir? 21. That's why Nim Clement said 21 clear days. The third. Don't make mistakes in exam. Next. Number 5. Last point in this section. Is the most important one again? Shorter notice. Mark it very, 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 very important exam. Answer is there. Shorter notice. Shorter notice. What do you mean by shorter notice? Short means paper length. Huh? Huh. What do you mean by shorter notice? Uh, time limit. Generally, you need to send notice uh, uh, of a particular general meeting within how many days? Uh, 21 clear days. Giving it lesser than 21 clear days is called as a shorter notice period. To give a general meeting notice at a shorter notice, we have to comply with the permission of shareholders. You have to comply with the permission of shareholders, members of the company, depending on whether it is a AGM or it is a EGM. Shall we start? Right on. Shorter notice. Branch, two branches. For AGM. For EGM. For EGM. First one is for AGM. Second one is for EGM. Approval of not less than 95% of total number of members. TNOM means what? Total number of members. Second case. EGM, two branches. Majority holding not less than 95% of AWP share capital. What is the difference between uh, first one and second one? Yeah? Can you please tell me? First one is what? Head to count majority. Which majority? Head to count. Shares the irrelevant. Shares the irrelevant. Number of people at, are there in the company. Thousand people are there. 995 people should say yes. Sir. A thousand, huh? 950 should say yes. 950 should say yes. Number should say yes. Irrespective of capital held. EGM are not like that. First, 
51% should say yes. 100 are there. How many is the 50? More than, majority means what? More than 50. More than 50 means how much? Yeah, 51. You can't cut the person into half. 51% is required. 51% of 100 means? 51% of 100 means how much? Yeah, 51. First 51 should say yes. Sir. That yes is saying 51 should hold 95% of capital. Understood the point or not? That's why majority and holding. Majority means more than 50%. More than 50% in head count should say yes. That yes is saying majority should hold 95% capital. Both conditions should be cumulatively satisfied. Okay. That's all. With this we completed section. Section number 101. Notice of agile meeting is also completed. Everyone understood clearly the concept. Yes, Summarize everything. Point number one. Notice to whom? Sorry, who will give the notice? Notice to whom? Yes. Members, legal representative of deceased member, official assignee of an insolvent member. Uh, any person authorized to attend the meeting. Next one. Very good. Next after that. Mode of sending the notice. Physically. Post. Hand delivery. Courier. Speed post. Register post. Uh, electronic means. Email. Next one. Time limit. Not less than. 21 days, 21 clear days, sir. clear days, clear days, of what will not be included? Date of notice, date of meeting, postal transit day 1, postal transit day 2. Next, after that, shorter notice, can we give a shorter notice? Yes. For AGM, whose approval is to be taken? Approval of number of members, how much percent? 95 percent. EGM, majority permission is enough, but that majority should hold 95 percent of the total capital. In that case, approval is given. With this, we completed another area called as notice of a general meeting. Are everyone confident about the concept up to here? Next one. Take the heading, section number 102. Section number 102. Ordinary business and special business. Ordinary business and Special business. Actually, the name of the section is statement to be annexed to the notice. And the power action is left. Let us understand in an easy way. Simply, this particular section covers two concepts. One, ordinary business. Second one, special business. Shall we continue? Simplification I will do first. From the exam's point of view, what you require, I will first explain. Shall we? Right now. Businesses in GM. Businesses in GM. Sir, businesses represent not trade business. It's a none of your business. A business means what? Go and buy and sell. Eh? We will tell it's none of your business. None of your business. La business means buying and selling. Eh? Uh, what is business there? It is not of your concern. That business here. Okay? to have clarity. Right now. Business is in GM. Okay. First write down. Branch it into two parts. In AGM. In EGM. In AGM. Two branches. Ordinary business. Special business. In EGM, only special business. How many ordinary businesses are there? Four ordinary businesses are there. A, D, D, A. A for accounts, approval of annual accounts. D for declaration of dividend. D for Director's appointment. A for auditor's appointment. Over. Don't write like that in exam. EDDA. ACCS. Don't write like that. Approval of annual financial statements like that you have to write. If your keyword is remembered, remaining automatically flow will come. Keyword and not remember means what you will write. 
Account means how to write approval of annual accounts or approval of annual financial statements and board report. Declaration of dividend, appointment of directors, appointment of audit. Like that you should write in exam. Understood? Uh, special business. See here how to write. Any business other than ordinary business is deemed as special. Any business other than ordinary business shall be deemed as special. Fast, fast, sir. Everyone completed. No. Now, be right down. This is point number one here. Yeah. Okay. First, tell me, everyone understood the point number one discussion clearly? Yeah? Yes, tell me, how many types of general meetings will be there? Two types. Number one, AGM. Number two, EGM. AGM, how many types of businesses can be there? Ordinary business, special business. How many ordinary are there? Four. Tell me, A, D, D, A. A for? Apple. A for? Accounts. D for? Dividend. Another D for? Directors. Another A for? Auditors. But exam how to write? Approval of annual financial statements, board report. Over. Second one, declaration of dividend. Number three, appointment of directors. Number four, Appointment of auditors. If you remember the keyword, the remaining you can easily write. Well, if you don't remember the keyword, it's gone. Okay, next. EGM la? EGM la order ya special. All are deemed as special business only. In EGM. Up to here under the point. Now, one very important point is there. That's the second thing we are going to cover. This particular section will be having two parts. Number one, understanding order special. Number two, Explanatory statement. That is important for this section. Okay? Right now. Contents of explanatory statement. Market important. Chances in the May 24 for two marks. This is number one point. Number two. Contents of explanatory statement. I am simplifying this. Don't re-simplify this. Okay, first, disclose, uh, by the way, first tell me, what we are writing? Some people are mechanically noting the notes again. Exams are there here for you. Please tell me, what we are going to write now? We are not writing explanatory statement. We are writing contents inside explanatory statement. Okay, what contents should be there inside the explanatory statement? Okay, two contents are required. Important two contents. What are the two? Let's say down. Disclose nature of concern or interest of nature of concern or interest of director, manager. KMP relatives. Relatives of whom? Relatives of DMK. <laughs> Who is D here? Director. M manager. K KMP. Relatives of DMK. <laughs> Coincidentally, some things will happen like this. <laughs> so, uh, tell me, disclose the nature of concern or interest. So, simply, listen, companies entering into a related party transaction. Listen, please, how questions will come? Let me explain. Company entering into a related party transaction. Whenever I say related party, some director, someone will be related. Listen, uh, uh, what is your relation? How much profit you are going to get from that particular transaction? You should disclose in the explanatory statement. Who should disclose? Are you names I have given? Director, manager, K 
KMP are their relatives. Any of them are involved in the transaction with the company. You should tell why you are involved, how you are involved, what is the nature, how much profit you are going to make. Disclosure has to be made in the explanatory statement or else profit made by any of these people will become secret profit. Will become secret profit is treated as a fraud under 447. Fraud under 447. Therefore, we should not take that risk whenever director is involved in any transaction with the company. There is no offense you can involve, but tell that you are involved. That's why we call it as what? Disclosure. Maybe if you attended regular classes, you might remember this section I used to teach for two and a half hours. I used to tell how this will practically apply. Okay. But uh, exams, ki what is important, what is relevant, I am going to discuss now. Are you understanding or not? From exams point of view, question comes now. Who want your logic then? They will see whether you have written the answer or not. Are you understanding or not? What do you mean by explanatory statement? All those are required for regular class. Now I am perfectly going on from the exams point of view. Question comes, are you able to write? That's the agenda now. Okay, tell me now, point number one. What we need to disclose? Uh, disclose the nature of concern or interest of director, KMP, the director, manager, KMP, or any of their relatives. Not only that, every time, every contract, DMK may not be involved. Or relatives may not be involved. Therefore, in such case, when they are not involved, you should not say that there is no explanatory statement. Other things also you should explain. I will give you an example, you tell me. Contract entered by company with the brother of director, DMK will get attracted or not? Answer, attract because director is involved. Technically, relative of director is involved. Reasoning. Next, the second point. Second point. Company is shifting its register office from, okay, Veshmavalam to T Nagar. In this director involved, uh, a manager involved, uh, KMP involved, uh, are you relatives involved? Uh, uh, then uh, you should not tell, I will not disclose because it's a special business. ADDL, uh, change in register office will come or will not come. Uh. Then it is ordinary or special. Uh, requires which statement? You should not tell, since DMK or relatives are not involved, I will not disclose. You should not tell that. Certain things you need to disclose even in the case. What is that? Is the second point we are going to write. This is the disclosure one. We are going to write the disclosure two. Second disclosure. Disclose the facts that enables members to understand, to understand. Should we continue? Yes, uh, to understand meaning, scope, and implications of the decision. This point as it is you have to write in exam. I don't know how you will remember you have to. They will ask question definitely this time for two marks or three marks. Explain the contents of explanatory statement. At that time don't put white faces. You have to write. Tell me, what are the contents of explanatory statement? What is the disclosure number one? Disclose the nature of concern of director, manager, KMP, relatives. They are not involved. Even then you have to disclose certain things. What is that? Disclose all the facts. Uh, that will enable the members to understand the meaning, scope and implications of the decision. Understood the point clearly? Next. Not yet completed. Number three. Punishment. Punishment. There are two types of punishment. Sir, you will not discuss punishments in class now, sir. Listen carefully. Which punishment I will not discuss? Numerical nonsense I will not discuss. 
Are you understanding or not? 50,000 to 60,000, even now I won't discuss. Logical, logical concept is that I wanted to discuss right now. Punishment, branch it into two. Branch it into two. Civil, criminal. For criminal, fine and penalty is there. That you refer penalty charge. Even now I won't discuss. But there is one civil liability. This is very important. Shall we continue? Punishment will be given or not? Yes. That civil criminal punishment like fine penalty you read on your own. And from the charts. But there is one very very important civil liability is involved. That I will discuss in the class now. Shall we start? Yes, Let's begin. Oh. Civil liability. Right on. Transaction is entered by the company with DMK or promoters or relatives without mm, without disclosure and profit is made by DMK or promoters or relatives then what they have to do compensate the company of the profits made means give back the profits to the company compensate the company of the profits made compensate the company of the profits made okay done with this another section the set is also completed what is the next one we completed section number 102 what is section number 102 talking about ordinary business and special business take a minute time revise it properly important section big section actually read the content we will revise and go to the next sections Don't waste time, don't waste time, please. Complete first. Completed? Okay. Sir, what are the sections we completed till now? Can you please tell me? 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102. We completed. Next. Uh, please listen carefully. Next sections are 103, 104, 105, 106 in the sequence we are going now. Okay. Listen, listen carefully. 103, 104, 105, 106. Sorry, 103, 104, 105. First, let us understand these three. 103 will be quorum. 104 will be chairman. 103, 
quorum. 104, chairman. 105, the most important in this chapter, proxy. Am I clear? Highest number of times a question came in the general meeting chapter if a person asked with no stretch of imagination. What is that section? Proxy, 105. It was tested 18 times in exam. So, extremely important section. What is that? Section number 105. Proxies. Not just to proxies. Proxies are linked with another two sections. 112 and 113. 112 and 113. But also we should read simultaneously along with 105. So, 105, 112, 113. Targeted sections I will tell you. Listen carefully. 103, 104, 105, 112, 113. How many sections, sir? Five sections. Once these five sections are completed, great relief, I will give a short break. Shall we cover 103 to 1 uh, required sections? Sir? Let's write down. 103, quorum. Before that, don't ask for the break. That's indirect meaning. Quorum. Section number 103. So what will be there inside the quorum concept? What is the idea behind? Let us try to understand clearly. What is the name? Quorum. Tell me what do you mean by quorum? What do you mean by quorum? What do you mean by quorum? Minimum number of members that must be present at the meeting to constitute a valid meeting. We call it as a quorum. Number one. Quorum should be present within how many minutes? Half an hour. Quorum should be present within half an hour. Today time, for example, uh, meeting has to start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Maximum quorum must be present within 10.30. Even after 10.30, if the quorum is not present, two situations will come. Type of meeting. Meeting called by requisitions under section 100. Just now we say, no. Meeting called by requisitions under section 100. When requisitions will call? If board fails, requisitions will call. If... Uh, Requisitions will call. When board fails means, board, always you should not see them in a negative angle. You send me a notice. Who are you? Member, requisitions. You send me a notice saying that board of directors call a meeting. I saw reason. Nonsense reason you are calling. Lot of money of the company will be wasted or not. Listening, ah. I did not call. Okay. Ego is there, na? Shareholder, they only called the meeting. They gave notices. Quorum didn't come. Means shareholders are also interested or not interested. Huh? Now who is having a stronger moon now? Board of directors or requisitions? Huh? Board of directors. Therefore, if the meeting called by requisitions under section 100 don't have a quorum, meeting will be cancelled. Meeting will be cancelled. In all other cases, meeting will be adjourned. Meeting will be adjourned. To the, uh, how the meeting will be adjourned? Tell me. Meeting will be adjourned. No, wrong answer. Meeting will be adjourned as the board decide. If board do not decide anything, then it will be adjourned to the same day, same time, same place next week, which is not a national holiday. This is the answer of the quorum. Tell me what I said. What do you, what do you mean by quorum? Minimum number of members that must be present to constitute a meeting. Number one, over. Meeting completed. Second one, quorum should be present within half an hour. If not present, no, depends. Which type of meeting it is? Meeting called by requisitions under section 100, all other cases. If it is requisitions under section 100, cancel. Other cases, adjourn. Adjournment again, two branches. Uh, as the board decide. If board does not decide anything, same day, same time, same place, next week, which is not a national holiday. This is the logic. Last point is the main point, which we didn't discuss. How much forum is required for company? Private company too. Public company, it depends on the number of members on the date of meeting. If the number of members are up to 1,000, five members presently present. 1,000 to 5,000, 15. More than 5,000, 30. Everyone understood? This is what we are going to do. Are you all having clarity? Yes, sir. Let's again. Right now. Quorum. Meaning. Minimum number of members that must be 
personally present to start a meeting to start a meeting number 2 minimum quorum down arrow two branches what the two branches public company private company private company down arrow and right two members p p p p represents what personally present physically they must only be present not by proxies public company right a table total number of members total number of members quorum when i say quorum minimum or maximum minimum articles can provide for larger quorum total number of members up to 1000 1000 to 5000 beyond 5000 up to 1000 how many 5 dp 15 dp 30 pp over next number 3 Number three, time for checking quorum. Hmm. I don't quorum must be present within half an hour. Right on. No quorum case. No quorum. How many branches? Two branches. What are the two branches? Type of meeting. Okay. First type of meeting. Right on. Meeting called by requisitionists under section 100. Any other case? Meeting always requisition is under section 100. Meeting shall be cancelled. In all other cases, meeting will be adjourned. Adjourned in two ways. As decided by board of directors. not decided by board of directors same day same same data same day same time same place same week right down next week Same day, same time, same place, the next week. Completed? Okay. Now tell me, no quorum situation, tell me, if quorum is not that meeting called a requisition is under section 100, what will happen? Meeting will be cancelled. In all other cases, meeting will be adjourned. Adjourned to what? As decided by the board. If board does not decide anything, same day, same time, same place, next week. Understood the point up to here? Next. Last point, point number five. No quorum at adjourned meeting adjourned meeting
then members personally present members personally present will be taken as quorum in a public company in a public company if i have 5000 members 4500 members how many should be personally present 15 should be present 4500 number means 15 should be personally present correct or not adjourned meeting conducted there also quorum is not there only three came that three will form part of the quorum now understood the point everyone but think of one point i said members one member will never be considered as a quorum what i said one member will never be considered as a quorum right now completed next section chairman of gm chairman of gm let us not complicate this concept we can discuss this for hours together but two minutes like will complete it and right examination la chance is very less to come there is no great thing to ask here but try to understand and then tell listen please chairman is of three types there are three types of chairmen in companies act chairman of the board chairman of the general meeting chairman of the company everyone chairman of the board meetings chairman of the general meetings chairman of the company mukesh ambani is the chairman of the company he is a chairman managing director ratan tata chairman managing director those people are chairmen to the companies not for the meetings listening or not uh, that chairman is different this chairman is different clarity point number 1 okay see the screen chairman of general meeting what is important point from the exams point of view this how chairman will be elected chairman will be elected by articles chairman will be elected by if articles la nothing is given regarding chairman appointment then members personally present at the meeting will choose one among them to become the chairman of that meeting tell not nodding the head by yes sir tell me the answer how chairman is elected answer hmm. article so we should write the name of chairman then he will become the chairman of the general meeting if article c is silent what will happen members personally present should elect one of them to be the chairman of that meeting over up here understood ah if any one objects generally chairman will be elected by show of hands chairman will be elected by first show of hands so we elect one person that person one of the member or two three members are not liking him they wanted to change by poll method change by a poll has to be taken immediately poll has to be taken why i am saying this na generally decision on a poll will be given 48 hours after the meeting for example poll method means what polling papers will be given on the polling papers you will write yes or no whether you like the resolution or not resolution passed or not to be passed you will write there you will put it in a ballot box ballot box will be locked open after the meeting counting will be started within two days they will announce the result within that's why he said 48 hours within 48 hours they will announce the result listening ah yes, without chairman meeting can't be held yeah therefore you can't tell wait till two days therefore whenever poll is taken for election of a chairman decision has to be given immediately understood the point clearly or not so therefore summary is everything and tell me what concept we are reading chairman generally chairman is elected by articles if articles is silent members present will elect one among themselves by show of hands if show of hands is objected you can take a poll but the poll result has to given immediately law uses the word forthwith law uses the word forthwith but 
revision class i am not using technical terms immediately you have to take it and resolve the matter listening everyone in the class you may now get it out sir even if you take extremely fast it takes at least 2 3 hours time in the 2 3 hours time what will happen chairman already elected can continue can continue once the result comes na from then new chairman will take care did you understand all the points in sir chairman revision class don't expect me to repeat more than this everyone understood the concept clearly yeah uh, let us start chairman of gm number 1 election two branches election two branches aoa provides aoa silent if aoa provides person mentioned in aoa shall be the chairman of general meetings person mentioned in the aoa shall be chairman of general meeting next aoa silent members present by show of hands elect one among the themselves this is important they can't elect outsiders one among themselves to be the cm of gm to be the chairman of the general meeting one among them was to be the chairman of general meeting one among them was to be the chairman of general meeting everyone completed next second last point last point right on objection if poll is demanded if poll is demanded for election of chairman then it shall be taken forth with and till result is announced hmm don't just write down answer till result is announced by poll what will happen meeting will be cancelled uh, go for break and eat and come uh, what will happen chairman elected will continue chairman elected will continue chairman elected will continue if poll is demanded for election of cm cm means for whom chairman then it shall be taken forthwith forth it means immediately but till the result is announced from the poll you can't sit idle in the general meeting na conduct the resolutions listening shall we continue next what section we completed section number 104 next ninth one section number 105 poll poll listen six points la we will complete everything in poll listen poll tested almost seven examinations before after that not tested but still it is important listen carefully shall we Uh, what is the section we are going to start with poll what is this concept of poll mechanism let us try to understand first see here whenever i say show of hands show of hands there is a problem okay the problem with the show of hands is which one we are writing 105 ah i am very sorry 105 is 
proxy. Sorry, let us start with the proxy. Sorry, I'm very sorry. I thought 109. So 105, what is the cons we are going to start with? Proxy. Listen, what are the linking sections to proxy? 105, I told you. 104, 103, 104, 105, 112, 113. We are going to cover now. So 105 we started with. What is the 105 section called as? Proxy. Be very, very careful with proxy section. Listen carefully. See the screen. This document I will share with you. It is already there. Not share with you. Already there in the telegram group. Okay. What is this document? Means it's a general meetings hand notes. Uh, this is on proxies. I will share this. Sir, charts are there, na? I have written only for seven, eight pages. After that, I didn't find time. I didn't write. I will write. Okay. But for the examination before, I may not complete. That's why I will do one thing. This proxy document itself, you can read from the telegram group I have already shared. Don't write proxy section. Reason I will tell you. It takes one hour time. It takes 15 minutes to complete the sec uh, section. It takes one hour if you start writing. Because there are 30 points in this. How many? 30 points are there. See here. So many concepts are there. The branches will come totally. So therefore, don't take risk of writing now at the neck of the moment in exams time. I will send it. Already I said, I will resend it. Directly you can read from the telegram group. This is what we, we are going to read now. Listening. Ah, what is the section we are going to start with? 105. Topic is? Not just 105. That's why. See the heading. Proxies representative section 112 113 means how many sections we are going to read three sections 1053 now exactly by 11 10 we have to complete everything listening uh, if you can complete like that uh, you are not understanding uh, you are completing one 10 marks chapter another 45 minutes we will complete the general meetings like this we also do for share capital and prospectus listening everyone uh, let us start what is the topic name not only proxies, uh, proxies and representatives. Both the persons are there. Proxies and representatives. Okay. First, see the screen. Who is a proxy? First, tell me that. Tell your ideology about who is a proxy. Who is a proxy? Who is a proxy? What you will do? Proxy is a person who will attend the meeting on behalf of the member to go and vote the red. To go and what they read. Okay. There are some rights. There are some restrictions. On whom? Proxy. Are they important? For example. Point number one. One by one. Let us see. See the screen. Stretch. Applicable to whom? Public and private. Applicable to whom? Public and private. Proxy concept applies for both public companies as well as private companies. Second one. Concept of proxy. Read. You know that already. Updated? Next. Eligibilities and ineligibilities. That's a very, very important. Do's and don'ts. If you would have attended regular session, you might remember. Around one hour, we will spend time on understanding why these do's came, why these don'ts came, everything we should discuss. Now, one person also, I'm not interested to discuss about that. Just an exam question comes, how to write, I'm going to target now. Okay. What proxy can do, what proxy cannot do. Let us see. What proxy can do, can attend the meeting. Like you and me can attend the meeting. Who? Only vote by poll. Only demand a poll. Tell me, proxy can attend. Can demand a poll. Can vote by poll. But proxy uh, cannot speak. Cannot speak. Not counted for quorum. That's why quorum concept club. P P P P P P. We have written. What is P P there? Personally present only will be taken. Proxies are not allowed in quorum. Next, cannot vote by show of hand. Logic is there. Science is there. But I am not at all interested to discuss now. Okay. Understood the concept clearly. Yeah. How many of your regular students who attend regular batch? Do you remember the logic clearly? What he said at that time? By any chance? 
remember at least to some extent thank you thank you remember sir okay even if you don't remember i can't anything at this time don't ask me to repeat a logic behind why they cannot talk why they cannot speak why they cannot do by show of hands and all see there first one do sir he can he can attend next sir cannot by poll can demand for a poll next sir cannot speak cannot be counted for quorum cannot would by show of hands understood the point clearly uh, these are the points here so these are certain important issues that we need to understand do's and don'ts we complete right. one thing i wanted to tell what are the don'ts are the important what are the don'ts tell me cannot speak cannot not, not be counted for quorum next one cannot vote by show of hands okay sir cannot speak you said then how can he demand a poll that's why he can't speak he can talk regular best right? these logics only we will discuss speaking is different talking is different are you understanding assembly la one person will sit in chair who is that fellow talker or speaker why you call speaker speaking is a legal term talking is a english general term you can talk and request for a poll that is different on a matter if you talk we call it speak Are you understanding the point or not? This is how the logics will start. If I tell the logic now, it will take another one hour time. One by one, why he cannot vote? Why he cannot vote by show of? If he can vote by poll, why can't he vote by show of hands? Question will arise. Either tell that he cannot vote at all. You are saying that he can vote, but vote only by what? Poll, not by show of hands. Why? Question will arise. All these logics, those we will, will discuss about it. Am I clear? Why he cannot speak? What wrong he has done? So all these subjects. This is not the time to learn about all those things. But understand the concept clearly to hear. So tell me, who is a proxy? Any person who will attend the meeting in order to vote for him on behalf of another, on behalf of another, is called as a proxy. This is a point. Next one. Very, 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 very important for exam. Expected also for MCQ. What is it? Multiple proxies and restrictions. Question is, can one proxy hold members uh, like ten members, fifteen members like that? Can he simply to understand? Can one person represent multiple members? Can one person represent multiple members? Is a question. Okay. Answer is yes, no, both. Why yes? Why no? When yes, when no? Let's see. Read. Read here. Yeah, a person may be appointed as a proxy for multiple members. Maybe a shall be. Maybe if you want, you can appoint. Okay. Ah. Uh. Subject to the conditions, namely, ah, uh, that number of members you are representing should not exceed fifty. and they should not hold more than 10% of the paid up share capital two conditions are there everyone tell me what is the section or what is the topic multiple proxy can a proxy represent multiple members yes. yes he can represent but two conditions are there or and and what is the first condition number of members you are representing should not be more than 50 condition one condition two they should not hold aggregately more than 10% of the paid up share capital if these two conditions are satisfied you can represent up to 50 members i will ask you some combinations tell me 10 members with 12% capital answer 70 members with 5% capital 45 members with 7% capital yes this is permitted listening ah one member with 18% capital Yes, that's another exception. If one person is holding more than ten, what you can do? Understood the point or not? Uh, that's why. See here. If if one member holds more than ten percent of paid up share capital, can can be a proxy only for one such member. Understood the points clearly? Read now.
you say you completed, we will go to the next one. Yes, Understood the multiple proxy appointment concept clearly? Yes, Very good. Next. Like this, you should read. Chart, uh, arrow marks you read properly. Uh, next one is special provision for sectionate company. In a sectionate company, proxy must be a member. What does it mean? In other companies, outside also can become a proxy. Adi meaning. Hello, listening. In a sectionate company, who only should become proxy? Member only should become proxy. That means in all other companies other than sectionate company, even outsiders also can become the proxies. Clear? Next issue. Next one. Special provision for companies with uh, mm, no share capital. Sir, if the company has no share capital, what is the purpose of a proxy? Just to come to the meeting and listen what is going on. If share capital is not there, you won't have any, sir. First point number one. There are two things. Show of hands to poll. Show of hands, poll. One show of hands. One person, one vote. Everyone, one person, one vote. I am having one share. She is having one lakh shares. One vote to one vote. That means irrespective of your shareholding, every person can raise only one hand at one time. I raise the hand. How do you know that my hand has one lakh shares? Or one share? You don't know. Show of hands, the problem is my economic strength is not represented. Poll method, what is there? My economic strength can be represented because one share, one vote. One share? Company don't have share capital, yeah. Proxy can vote only by poll. Show of hands, sir. Proxy can vote only by poll. Poll voting will be depending on the person or depending on the number of shares held company don't have share capital, then what is the use of the proxy? He will just come, sit to eat, breakfast, listen to what is happening and leave. Therefore, if it is a company not having share capital, clearly you should write that there is a proxy concept. Then only proxies can be pointed. Listening or not everyone? Can you speak or cannot speak? Proxy can speak or cannot speak? No share capital. Voting or no voting? Then why you are coming? to the point that's why so proxy concept will apply only if the EOA provides next concepts from here be extremely careful exam multiple times tested recent attempt if I have to tell it is May 2023 exam the first question in the paper sorry second question in the paper came for eight marks in exam it came from all these points when I say all these points from time limit longer period deposit Proxy form, additional requirements, inspection, everything was tested in one question. That question is for one and a half page. Big case law they have given an exam. On that they test a dead easy question if you understand. So therefore be very careful. Before going into that, I want my confirmation. First two points everyone understood clearly. Yeah? Everyone understood clearly? Okay, first one. Applicable to whom? Public private. Next, eligibility. What proxy can do? What proxy can do? Can attend or cannot attend? Can demand for a poll, cannot demand a poll. Can vote by poll, cannot vote by poll. What he cannot do? Cannot speak. Next one. Cannot vote by show of hands. Next one. Cannot be counted for quorum. Up to here, understand the point clearly. Next issue. Listen carefully. Now we are going into the most important area. Proxy concept understanding. There are two types of proxies. Listen carefully. There are two types of proxies. Proxy in person, proxy in form. Repeat. Proxy in person. Very bad response. Again, proxies are of two types. Number one, proxy in person, proxy in form. Proxy in person. Me, I am appointed as a proxy. I am a proxy. I am having one proxy form confirming that you gave me a right to attend. What I should have? Who am I? Who am I? I am holding what form? Proxy form. Proxy form is a proof that you are really appointed by a member to attend on his behalf. He will sign on that proxy form. Who will sign? Uh, again, start. What form? Form number is, see here, I have written clearly the form numbers also. Tell me, what is the form number? MGT11. 
just spend five more extra minutes you can understand all the concept first tell me proxies are of how many types very bad proxies are of how many types number one proxy in person proxy in form proxy in person is a individual like you and me proxy in form is a document proof that you are appointed as a proxy that proof should be in form number mgt 11 mgt 11 here three important points are there three important points extremely important points i will not tell important number one you should deposit lodge your proxy forms with the registered office not longer than i mean not uh, uh, what is a lesser than 48 hours before the meeting 48 hours before the simply what does it mean meeting is going to be conducted in today's time by today you should send your proxy form any proxy form received after 48 hours that means gap is only 36 hours he rejected any proxy form sent after 48th hour before the meeting will be rejected any proxy form received uh, any proxy form received before 48 hours all will be accepted number one everyone understood the point clearly yeah again repeat point number one proxy forms should be deposited at least 48 hours before the meeting am i clear any proxy form received after 48 hours will be outrightly rejected they will not take them number one number two articles of association of a company la, i have written proxy form should be sent not 48 hours 70 hours before the meeting you have to send the proxy form like that i have written in my articles even though you write like that in the articles 48 hours only will apply means don't harass the shareholders shall i tell you why that section came like that listen carefully our plan will change at the last minutes always you might have seen okay in the past in your life experience things changes at the last minute correct or not maybe day after tomorrow or tomorrow there is a plan maybe it may change all of a sudden change will not happen by saying one week before change happens all of a sudden what is the change here that's the question i wanted to personally attend the meeting due to some reasons i could not attend i came to know about that two to two and two and a half days before the meeting therefore don't ask the members to submit the proxy forms longer than 48 hours if they voluntarily send you take it how many hours before i should send i send 72 hours before valid or not valid you voluntarily send valid but company should not force you to send like that clear or not everyone that means any longer period than 48 hours mentioned in the article should be should be taken as 48 hours only should be taken as simply articles are 70 hours written valid or not valid not valid you write but i don't follow that we will follow only 48 hours rule what is the point clear yeah don't forget about this point extremely important i said tell me what is the time limit for deposit of proxy form at least 48 hours before the meeting can i send 50 hours before yes 60 hours before yes five days before yes you can send but who should not force you articles should not force you to send more than 48 hours clear or not everyone read special sorry time limit for deposit of proxy form articles providing longer period read both Are you understanding the point or not now? Everyone? No. 
So proxy form shall be deposited within with the company 40 hours before. If article provide for a longer period than 48, it shall have effect as if uh, 48 hours is mentioned. Proxy form will be in form number MGT 11. Listen, MGT 11 when I say there is a format for that or not? Answer, yeah. Format, what they will give? Member name. Member name. Shareholders of folio number will be there. Company, la. that folio number. Your address. Proxy name. Proxy details. Signature. Listening. Ah. This is there in MG11 really. One company is there. That company is more creative company. What it said is, our proxy form is not MGT11. Our proxy form is MGT11 plus some other details also you should add. Listening, huh? I repeat one more time. There is a company. That company following MGT11 or not following MGT11? Huh? Following MGT11. But MGT11 plus some other columns also they provided. Aadhaar card number, PAN number, all these things also they are asking. Which is not in the original MGT11? Listening. I am one of the member. I don't know the form. I downloaded MCA website like MGT11. I filled the form and sent. Company rejected it. Saying that this is MGT11. Our company follows some additional uh, things inside. Since you did not comply, we are cancelling your proxy form, they said. Is it right or wrong? Absolutely wrong. That's the next point. Read. Proxy form mm. in MGT 11 shall not be questioned that it does not comply with additional requirement. So is there any need to comply with additional requirements? Sir? No. But you should fill form number MGT 11. That's all. No additional requirements needed. Here. Yeah. Next. Completed. Next one. Disclosures don't read. Important points I am asking you to read. Read the very, very important next point. Inspection of proxy forms. Listen. You can inspect the proxy forms. You can inspect the proxy forms. Not by coming directly. Three days in advance, you need to first intimate the company. How many days? Three, Three days advance notice you have to give. Everyone repeat. How many days? For example, you want to inspect today. Directly you can't come today and inspect. You have to give intimation to the company that you are going to come today. How many days before? Three days before you need to inform the company. I am going to come for inspection. Give me the proxy forms. Listening, uh, I want to know whether any enemy is coming to the company. Enemy here represents a rival to the company. That's why speaking chance is not given. What chance? Speaking. Speaking chance. That's why it's not given. Why he can't vote by show of hands? A question should be there or not. One proxy can be appointed for 50 members, sir. One proxy can be appointed for 50 members, sir. One member said, uh, pass the resolution in favor. Another member said, pass the resolution against. In the 50, 23 said favor. 23 said favor. 27 said against. How many times will raise the hand? If you raise the hand by show of hands, proxy represent how many? Proxy can represent maximum how many? 50. I raise the hand. One time if I raise the hand, I, I, it is only one vote counted. Correct or not? You are, if you represent 50 members, 50 times you have to raise the hand. And how can you represent this is the hand for Mr. A? This is not possible. That's why show of hands is not given. Understand the point or not? This rival problems are there. That's why speaking chance was taken. Are you understanding? Uh, so there are so many reasons like that. But idea understood everyone why he cannot do it by show of hands. Uh, so the subject matter of this discussion is I wanted to check a rival came to the meeting or not. I wanted to check. Who okay? came? Rival came to the meeting or not. I wanted to check. Therefore, you can check. You can inspect. But not by coming directly to the company. You need to give how many days of prior notice? Answer. And inspection will start. Inspection will start 24 hours before the general meeting. And will continue till the conclusion of that general meeting. Conclusion of that. Read the point. Extremely important. Another point. Who can inspect? 
who can inspect who can inspect every member entitled to vote can inspect next time for intimation how many days before you need to intimate three days before gm inspection can start beginning with 24 hours before the jala meeting and ends with the conclusion not only during the business hours i have one very important question if you read i will ask Okay. Tell me now, who can inspect? Yeah. Every member. How many days before you need to intimate? Three days. Ah, you can start inspection how many hours before? Hours. You can conduct inspection even after the meeting. That means with the conclusion of meeting, you can stop your inspection. Correct? Ah? Yeah. Answer? Yeah. yeah. Doubt may come. Sir, uh, proxy will go to the meeting. He will vote at the meeting. Voting also over. Meeting also over. Then what you will do by inspecting? Question will arise or not? Proxy can vote by what? Answer. Poll results will come within. That's why even with the conclusion, if you catch him, you can cancel the vote. That's understand or not? Regular bachelor used to explain the things. Uh, Timelines we can draw and we can understand. But here, why I am saying these logics is you will remember if I tell. If I tell the logic clearly, you will remember that. Okay. Even after the meeting, there is a possibility to cancel votes. Because the uh, poll will be taken within 48 hours other than uh, chairman appointment, if you remember. Yes, there are only two situations under which immediate poll will be taken. Number one, chairman appointment. Number two, adjournment of meeting. Number two? Adjournment. That's all. Everyone understood to hear clearly. So summary is everything. I have only two questions. Answer this. Point number one. How many hours before you need to deliver the proxy form? Not less than? Can I say more than 48 hours before? Yes. And articles provide like that? Even if articles provide for more than 48 hours, it shall be treated as if 48 hours is provided in the articles. Understood the point clearly? Next point number two. Proxy forms, once deposited with a company, can be possible of inspection or not? Uh, for that, you need to inspect, uh, uh, you need to start inspection how many hours before the meeting? And you can conclude with the conclusion of the meeting. The intimation should be given three days prior. Understood the point clearly. What is the form for a proxy? MGT. Uh, this is all about proxy section, most important contents. One point which is not covered here, but very important, I will tell. Listen. One member can appoint multiple proxies. What I said. What we read before, one proxy representing multiple members. Second one is, one member may represent, one member may appoint multiple proxy, but which proxy is deposited latest will be selected. For example, there are two proxies here. I wanted to attend the meeting. I want to attend the proxy number one, proxy number two. MGT 11 for one person, MGT 11 for another person. How many MGT 11s I sent? Two MGT 11. One MGT 11 was sent 70 hours before the meeting. Another MGT 11 was sent 50 hours before the meeting. How many hours? Answer. Generally, student tendency will be in such a way. Person which was sent 72 hours before he sent longer period, nah, select that fellow. No, select the second person only. Do you know why? I appointed second person with the doubt that first person may not come. Therefore, latest will be given more priority. And this is a point. Oh, this only exam question came recently. Can one member appoint multiple proxies? Yes. Then who will be selected? Don't tell later. Latest means I can send 24 hours before also. Not that latest. How to understand? Any proxy form which was sent within that time and being the latest one. 
within time means 48 hours before you should send first and in that you see who came uh, which was the latest one accordingly you need to take a decision everyone understood the point clearly yeah. next last one before you take a break two minutes 112 113 two sections are there i will also summarize what is the idea do you know government company yes, government company yes, to me what is a government company government company means a company where uh, not less than 51 percent of the paid up share capital is held by government sir held by central government or state government or combination everyone tell me who will hold very wrong answer everyone start who will hold or state government or combination stop there who will hold central government what do you mean central government Narendra yeah? Modi Amitana all these people will come and will go central government means what central government means whose money it is whose money yeah? central government will not get from sky central government who uh, will get money state government will get money from whose pockets uh, your pockets and my pockets only they will take money understood in the form of taxes uh, I'm not a taxpayer don't tell that indirect taxes you will pay you buy pen on that pen there is a GST involved uh, that money also will go to government only so indirectly everyone living on this India will contribute in some or the other way big or small to the tax okay so no favor is done by our politicians to us that's their responsibility we are we are giving money they're spending on us back so summary of this discussion is listen carefully central government means whom is a question it's public money it's the uh, it is the citizens money which is it is an African citizen huh? American citizen huh? which citizen Indian citizens so we are paying taxes from our money they are paying correct or not our money is invested in companies our money is okay so you should take permission of whom all Indian permission you should take taking all Indians permission is easier difficult and difficult that's why president is the first citizen therefore president will be taken state government companies key governor that's why president governor scheme government companies key the concept will apply are you understanding the point or not tell me if it is a which company in a government company who will be the shareholder governments will be the shareholder government is an artificial entity it will hold the shares in the name of presidents and governors that's why president governor take a don't mug up actually do you know some people said this explanation also worst explanation possible those people are busy they can't come a pm gonna busy a cm gonna busy a it governor is more busy than CM. president is more busy than prime minister worst explanation when you don't know stop there why that section came unnecessary explanations we should not give president prime minister who is our prime minister who is our president Adi. silence president should die first to mind after listening to this that means we don't know the names also properly how can you tell that those people are more important or more busy they are great no doubt in that if they listen to our words they will die today they don't know my name first citizen Draupadi Murmu she is the president of India now may change again next time they will change that means what you have to understand we don't know the names of president who is our state governor Some people are seeing. Yar run governor. So we may know, we may not know. What's the name of your state's chief minister? Ah. Now tell me who is more important, who is more busy, who is a more propagated person? Obviously, CM. Obviously, Prime Minister. Are you understanding the point or not? So the logic is very simple here. Yeah. You take state of Tamil Nadu, Mr. Stalin may be more busy than the governor. You take the state of Andhra Pradesh, Jagamohan Reddy is more busier than uh, the governor of the state. Means, prime, take Narendra Modi. Narendra Modi is the, one of the most busiest person in India. Than our president. Means, 
presidents, governors will be busy. Therefore, they cannot attend the meeting. That's why they will appoint representative to help with that. Prime ministers are more busy. Technically, shall I tell you one point? Openly, I shouldn't make this statement, but still, somewhere around, I wanted to make this. I may be more busier than president in a day. Are you understanding or not? 24 hours, almost 16 hours, I will be in some work. I may be more busier than Money is irrelevant, name is irrelevant. We work more than what they are doing. In some or the other way. Okay. Uh, you may be much more busy in class. Whether listening or not listening. So from this, what you have to understand, it's not about the busy schedule. Yeah, you have to make the schedule and go to the meeting. It's not about that. Problem is, whenever government companies are involved, government companies will not hold shares in the name of government. Will hold the shares in the name of president. Because he is the first citizen. Whose money you are using? Public money. Citizen's money. Who permission you should take? Public uh, decision. 140 crore population are there. How can you take? Therefore, take the approval of first, first citizen. It is deemed that all citizens have given approval. Listening, huh? That's why state ki governor, center la president. These two people are, are shareholders of government company. Those people will hold the shares. Listen, huh? Then problem comes. These presidents and governors of the particular state, the governor of the state or uh, president of that country, if they wanted to attend, they can attend the meeting. Or they may appoint representatives. They may appoint whom? Representatives. Who is a representative? Representative is not a proxy. Representative will have all the rights like a member. They can... They can speak. They can vote by show of hands. They can be counted for quorum also. Who? Representative. But who cannot be? Proxies cannot be. That's why representatives are not proxies. Everyone understood the logic clearly? Uh, therefore, please see here. Types of representative. There are two types. 112 covers presidents and governors. Presidents and 113 will cover body corporates and companies. Sir, same logic. Can one company invest in another company? Answer. X limited invested in Y limited. X limited invested in? Now tell me, in Y limited, who is a member? Answer. Y limited is conducting general meeting. Who can also attend? X limited. But X limited is a human being to go and attend. It will appoint a representative. That's all over. 112 and 113. Read this. Types of representative. Representatives appointed by the President of India, Governor of the State, or by the body corporates. Rights available. Representative so appointed in both the sections has a right to uh, vote, speak, and can also appoint a proxy. That's all here. This is the end of all important concepts inside proxies and representatives. Everyone confident with the chapter or not? 70% general meetings chapter is completed with this. Another 30% is there. In that 30%, there are three important sections are there. Extremely important again. Number one in that is 115, special notice. Which one? 115, special notice is there. Extremely important section again. One, 115 is important. 111 is important. And after that, postal ballot, okay. Not that great, easy, but uh, can be asked in exam. So technically there are around, ah, sorry, important is minutes. Which concept? Minutes. Minutes concept is also there. Okay. Once that is also completed, all important concepts in this chapter will be completed. Any one or two uncovered sections are there, you can read on your own. I am covering all the most important ones. 95% of every chapter I will cover. Clear everyone? Take break and come. So let us continue. So we have completed. We have completed up to section number 105. 105 along with that we also completed 112 and 113. Those two sections are also completed. Next. Please listen.
our next targeted sections set 106 107 first we need to complete these two 106 107 i told you previously also 108 110 we are going to discuss at the last so once these two are completed then we will cover section number 114 114 because 112 113 already completed 114 i will cover next to 115 next to triple one okay this is the next set of sections we are going to cover once after that i will be discussing about the concept of minutes which concept minutes finally i will discuss about electronic coating and postal ballot and we will close this chapter then all 95 percent of all the important concepts will be covered with this okay let us begin so listen Next break only once we complete general meetings. The moment we complete general meetings, we will take a break. Such that big area called as general meetings will be completed. Next another big area remaining part of the day will be completed and we will close. Okay. Such that all big chapters applicable will be completed. Okay. Let us see. 106 to 107. Next important topics to cover. 106 will be talking about restriction on voting rights. Restriction on voting rights. Okay. Write the notes. Keep the heading. Restriction on voting rights. Let me first tell you what is the concept of restriction on voting rights and then we will continue. Restriction on voting rights. Number one. Number one. Restriction on voting rights. Nature of restriction. What is the nature of restriction? Cannot be entitled to vote. Cannot be entitled to vote. That is the nature of restriction. Number two, number two, conditions attracting the section, when restrictions will be imposed, conditions attracting the section, two branches, two branches. non payment of calls and sorry or non payment of calls lean on shares lean on shares non payment of calls means if call money is not paid first call second call final call will be there na call money not paid in that case voting rates will be restricted second lean means you have taken money from the company. You are not paying back. Since you are not paying back, they have taken your shares. Listening or not? You are a shareholder and debtor. You are a shareholder and debtor. Debtor has a payable or receivable. Company is receivable. But for a debtor, it is a payable. You are not paying. What they will do? They will exercise lien on the shares. In these two cases. Okay important thing is only that means under no third case you can restrict the voting rights voting rights can be restricted only under how many situation two situation no third case can come listening or not yes, right now no other ground for imposing Restriction. No other ground for imposing restriction. Number four. AOA has to give power to impose restriction. AOA has to give power to impose the restriction.
Okay? That's all. With this, we completed which concept? Restriction on voting rights. Okay? But one last point is there. Write down. Using the votes differently. Using the votes differently. Underline that. First tell me, under how many grounds we can restrict the voting rights? Two grounds. Number one? Non-payment of calls. Next one, lean on shares. But to do that, first articles has to give the power. If articles is silent, board of directors cannot exercise the restrictions on 106. Listening or not? Yes, uh, that's one point. Using votes differently, what does it mean? In case of show of hands, one person will have only one vote. But in poll, one, in, one poll, one share will have one vote. I have 10,000 shares. How many votes I will get? I have 10,000 shares. How many votes I will get? I can use 4,000 shares in favor, 6,000 shares against also. That also said in section number 106. Using the vote differently. In case of vote by poll, A member may use his votes differently. That is, some in favor and some against. Sir, who will do like this, sir? Any one person will have only one opinion. Either he will vote in favor. Or he will vote against. Why same person will vote in favor against? I told you in the class very, very clearly. Whenever shares are held jointly by two, three people. Okay. For example, two people jointly held the shares. 50-50. What they will tell? For my 50, I will vote favor. For your 50, you do whatever you want. Then, in poll method, my 10,000 shares, my 5,000 shares, I will vote in favor. Your 5,000 shares, you do whatever you want. Understood the point. So at the time of joint holding, this uh, provision will get attracted. If you want, you write down in the brackets, joint holding. If you remember regular classes, I told this logic very, very clearly. But still, okay, write down joint holding. You will remember in exam. Everyone understood all the five points of uh, 106 section? Yes, that all 106 is completed. Come to next one, number 10. Section number 107. Vote by show of hands. Vote by show of hands. Number one. Number one. Default voting system. What do you mean by default voting system? What do you mean by default voting system? If poll is not demanded, if a poll is not demanded, Generally, all resolutions are voted only by show of hands. Poll will be taken only if you demand. If you do not demand a poll, poll will not come by default. By default, what will apply? Show of hands will apply. Poll apply only if demanded. Validity of show of hands. When the show of hands become valid, if two conditions are satisfied. Condition 1, condition 2. Condition 1. Result is declared by chairman and noted in the minutes. That's all. Answer over. Result is declared by chairman. Second one noted in the minutes. Result is declared by chairman and noted in the minutes. So tell me, show of hands will become valid when? See here, one second, one second, one second, listen. You raise the hands. I am chairman sitting here. I saw. Okay? 100 people are there. I saw. 
45 voted in favor. How many? 45 voted in favor. But, Chairman, I didn't see properly. I thought favor in the resolution. I said, resolution has been favored. I declared and written the minutes. That's all. You can't do anything after that. That's all over. Done. That's why there is a disadvantage with vote by show of hands. Do you know what is the disadvantage? Once these two are done, it will be conclusive evidence. What do you mean conclusive evidence? You can't do anything. It's concluded already. Evidence is over. Okay? It's a conclusive evidence. If you are done, we go to the next one. Shall we continue to the next point? Okay, done. So, what have we completed now? Vote by show of hands. Tell me. Show of hands is the default system of voting. Poll will apply only if demanded. Validity of show of hands. When the show of hands gets the legal validity, only if a chairman declares the result of voting and, a, and a noted in minutes. In both the conditions are satisfied, it will become what evidence? Conclusive evidence cannot be questioned later. Next. 108 to 1. We will discuss now or at the end. At the end, not now. Okay. Next. Next one. Section 109. Vote by poll. Vote by poll. Number 1. One by one, let us try to understand what are the conditions in O by poll. First, listen carefully. After that, we can write vote by poll is default or demanded. demanded. The first point number one, demanded. What are the various ways of applying the poll method in a general meeting? Let us first understand that. Write on. Ways of applying poll underline that branch it into two parts BOD so motto demand by requisite number of members Requisite number of members. First one, vote sumodo. That means no one is requesting. No one is uh, requesting. Board of directors sumodo decided. Here board of directors is present chairman. If you want, you can write down. Chairman sumodo. That means chairman sumodo said that I am having a confusion. I am not understanding by seeing the hands. So as the number of people increasing, accuracy will be decreasing because the eyesight can't go beyond the level and the mischievous people will be there who will raise both the hands like this if I raise the hand how do you know in a group of people when you sit mischievous people may be there at the last they may raise both the hands then how can you understand therefore inaccuracy will come listening or not at the time who himself will ask Chairman himself will tell that I am not having a proper idea about the show of hand. I am only demanding the poll he can tell. Number one. Or he concluded by show of hands before declaration of result. One of the members stood up and said, result given under show of hands by the chairman is doubtful. I am demanding a poll they will tell. Listening or not. That's why. Who can demand? Some number of members can demand. When they can demand? Before or on declaration of result by show of hands. Before or on declaration of result by show of hands. Who declared result by show of hands? Answer. Uh, final and conclusive evidence are not a conclusive evidence. Are. Not a conclusive evidence because not it noted in the minutes. Not it. Note in the minutes. So one of the members stood up and said, decision given by the declaration of result by the chairman is doubtful. I wanted to go for poll. What he is doing now? Demanding a poll. Understand the point everyone? Uh, so now tell me, what are the ways of applying the poll? 
two ways. Number one, CM Sumoto. CM here represents who? Chairman Sumoto. Second one, demand can be made by requisite number of members. What is that requisite number? We will write now. Uh, when they can request, either before show of hands, you ask, or on declaration because of the doubts on the resolution, you can ask. Listen or not, everyone. Okay. Sir, what is this requisite number? Is a question now. What is the requisite number? Branch it to two. Company with share capital. Company without share capital. Company with share capital. Company without share capital. Company with share capital, company without share capital. Okay? Write down. Company with the share capital. Not less than one tenth of the total owning power or holding shares not less than rupees 5 lakh not 50 lakh not less than 5 lakh whichever is higher whichever is lower nothing either satisfy this or this i told the logic also for this in the regular class why it was provided like that my company is reliance industries okay Capital is somewhere around 6 lakh crores. One tenth of 6 lakh crores means it will be 60,000 crores. Which we who will hold? At the time, 5 lakh will help you. Hey, listening. At the time, 5 lakh will help you. My company is so small. Paid up capital is 4 lakh. Then from where you will get 5 lakh? At the time, 1 tenth will help you. Listening. That's why they didn't tell higher or lower. Either this or this, any of these two you should satisfy, understood or not. That's why I have a bear act for you, you can see here. In case of company having share capital, uh, not less than one tenth of the total voting power, that condition, uh, or holding shares on which aggregate sum not less than 5 lakh, that's all. Whichever is higher or lower concept will not come. Listening or not everyone? Okay, let's write down. Second one, not less than one tenth of the total voting power. First, I will give you two minutes time. Read the first point, very, very important. Read the content. Tell me, first one is company with the share capital. Uh, company with the share capital, who can? One ten members holding one tenth of the total voting power or members holding not less than 5 lakh. What they can do? What they can do? They can demand a poll. Next, a company without share capital, not less than one tenth of the total voting power. This is a point number one. All important points when I am writing, write down along with me. Number two. Can the demand made can be withdrawn or not? Can the demand made be withdrawn or not? Can be withdrawn by the person who made the demand. If I made the demand, you can't withdraw. I made the demand, I can only withdraw. Okay? Demand made may be withdrawn. by the person making it by the person making it which poll will be taken immediately and which poll will be taken within 48 hours 
write down time for taking the poll i told this point already yeah. time for taking the poll two branches appointment of chairman or adjournment of gm other cases if it is appointment of cm or adjournment of gm in that case fourth with means what immediately in all other cases within 48 hours within 48 hours within 48 hours so we completed subsection 1 2 3 four. okay that's all these are the important points yeah from the exam point of view these are all they will ask okay only important contents let us understand so tell me everyone summarize and tell what are the two types of voting system we completed show of fans and poll which is default which is only on demand which can be withdrawn which cannot be withdrawn which is conclusive evidence when show of hands become conclusive evidence declaration of result of voting by the chairman and the noting that in the minutes will make it what evidence conclusive evidence next poll method will be on record because polling papers will be given everything on record conclusive evidence need not be there you can any time recheck it listening or not everyone uh, who can demand a poll as first can chairman sumo to take a poll yes can you, who can demand members holding not less than One tenth of the total voting power, or members holding not less than five lakh of the capital, can they demand a poll? Yes, that's all. Once demanded, can I withdraw the demand made? Yes, you can withdraw. But only the person who made the demand only can withdraw the demand. Next time for taking the poll, appointment of chairman and adjournment of a meeting immediately forthwith. In all other cases, within 48 hours, you need to give the result of voting. That's all. This is always the end of concept called as vote by dash poll. Now we are going into one very important area called as section one one four ordinary resolution and special resolution. Next after that we are going to read a concept called as one one six resolutions passed in the adjourned meeting. Resolution passed in the adjourned meeting. Two sections very important for exam. Let's write down section number one one four. section number 114 ordinary resolution and special resolution ordinary resolution and special resolution ordinary resolution special resolution okay resolution two branches ordinary resolution special resolution two conditions have to satisfy to make it ordinary resolution number 1 notice is duly sent means how many days before the meeting 21 days clear days before the meeting next votes cast in favor must be more than votes cast against that's all over generally when a person ask what is ordinary resolution people tell more than 50% utter nonsense answer If you write like that, they don't give marks. Exam life, they ask you should write two points. Notice must be duly sent. Votes cast in favor should be more than vote cast against the resolution. If you write these two, they will give the two marks. Special resolution. Three conditions will be there. Condition one. First one is same. Notice is duly sent. Second one again. notice shall mention that intended resolution is a special resolution means you should tell the shareholders clearly are you understanding you should tell shareholders clearly don't sleep at home please come to the meeting some important discussions are going on intimate them clearly 
Special resolution will be passed for general matters or special matters. Uh, that you should press that or else how they don't know. Reasoning. Uh, last one is same with the digital small change. Votes cast in favor must be, okay, not greater than. Votes cast must be, okay, not less than three times the votes cast against. VCF means what? Votes cast in favor must not be less than. Uh, that means must be more than or equal to votes cast again as a resolution. Three times the votes cast again as the resolution. That means 100 people are there. 25 voted against. 75 should vote in favor now. How many should vote in favor? 75. Then only resolution will be passed. Understood ordinary special resolution clearly. Yeah. Tell me. Question came in exam for 4 marks. How we will write? What is ordinary resolution? What make an ordinary resolution? Notice must be duly sent. Everyone, notice must be. And uh, votes cast in favor must be more than votes cast against the resolution. Next, what makes a special resolution? Notice must be duly sent. Notice must clearly mention that the intended resolution is a special resolution. Votes cast in favor must not be less than three times the vote cast against the resolution. Everyone understood? Over. That's all. We completed section number 114. Next one. Section 116. Resolutions passed in adjourned general meeting. Okay. First I will explain the logic of this section. Then we can read. Because 99.99% .99 of the students if they take coaching directly from me in regular batch definitely they would have remembered what I said. If at all they listen at that time. No sir, that habit I don't have. Then at least listen now. Why I am expressing this point clearly, this question can be understood only if you understand meaning of adjourning in a proper sense. Okay? See here, this section is one of the most left out section in this chapter. Means, also some students don't know that there is a section like this. Inside, many people are thinking, sir, I never heard about this. So therefore, listen carefully. This is one very, very uh, dark area, the gray area of this chapter is 116. Why? Let me first explain you. Whenever meetings are there, there are two types of meeting. Original meeting, adjourned meeting. First one, adjourned meeting. Now tell me, I conducted original meeting on 8th April. Forum not there. What I will do? Adjourned. I adjourned to same day, same day, sometime I adjourned. I conducted adjourned meeting. Now company conducted how many meetings? No, one meeting. Hey, adjourned meeting is not a separate meeting. It is a continuation to the original meeting. Continuation to? Everyone, continuation to? It's like giving a break during the class. Are you understanding or not? It's like giving a break during the class. Means what? Class started in the morning 9 a. But 11.30 ki break came. Again it continued. Which class means you will not tell class started at 11. You will tell class started at 9 o'clock only. Understood the point or not? That means adjourned meeting is not a second meeting. Adjourned meeting is not a separate meeting. Adjourned meeting is a continuation to the original meeting. Therefore, adjourned meeting is treated as a separate meeting and not a separate meeting. It dates back to the original meeting only. Understood the first point clearly. Yeah. Uh, now tell me. I will give an example. Tell me. Original meeting, general meeting held on 8th April. On 8th April. This quorum is not there. 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th. 7 days after. Hmm. 15th April. I conducted what meeting? 
adjourned general meeting i conducted on which date 15th april i conducted adjourned general meeting up to your understood ah uh, i conducted adjourned general meeting on which date 15th of april i conducted adjourned general meeting okay now tell me what is this meeting i asked what you will tell what is this meeting i called i asked you this is egm 1 this is egm 2 uh? this is not a egm 2 this is just a continuation to the meeting held on 8th april and to the point or not that mean this meeting has its own independent identity uh? it will be attached to the old meeting uh? Uh, that's the point that means adjourned meeting has no separate individual identity it is only taking the reference of the original meeting which is already started understood the point or not yes, sir. which meeting this is adjourned okay which meeting this is 8th april meeting which is adjourned to 15th april it's not 15th april meeting it is not 15th april meeting it is 8th april meeting adjourned to 15th of april answer the point or not that means it is not a it is not a separate meeting of its own everyone understood point clearly yeah it is not a separate meeting on its own it is a meeting which has already started but adjourned and came to 15th of the april understood up to here clearly uh, now the question arises we passed the resolutions what we passed resolutions original meeting could not be held we passed r1 r2 two resolutions we passed on which date 15th april now i asked when resolution 1 and 2 are passed you will tell it is passed on 15th uh, passed on 8th april uh. 15th april only you should take except for the purpose of dating the resolutions for all the purposes adjourn meeting will refer back but when it comes to date of passing resolution you should take the date on which it was in fact passed in fact it is passed on 8th of 15th that date only should be taken meeting 8th april continuation resolution 15th april you should take it is not 8th april resolution passed on 15 it is 15th april resolution eh? listening or not that's why this section came in general meeting chapter that means whenever resolutions are passed in the adjourned meeting repeat whenever passed in the adjourned meeting they shall be considered as they shall be considered as having been passed on the date on which it was in fact passed and not on any earlier date this is what their access are you understanding the point or not adjourned meeting is a original meeting a continuation to original meeting it has its individual reference or no independent reference but the resolutions have independent reference understood the point clearly beyond this i can't waste the time let's continue writing notes resolutions passed at adjourned meeting shall be considered as having been passed on the date on which it was in fact passed and not on any earlier date that's all over 116 if you understand section will take half a minute problem is with understanding resolution pass read the total statement resolution passed at adjourned meeting sir when i say adjourned meeting it can be general meeting it can be board meeting it can be committee meeting it can be creditor meeting any meeting any adjourned meeting completed so resolution passed at the adjourned meeting whether general meeting board meeting creditor meeting committee meeting 
shall be considered as having been passed on the date on which it was in fact passed and not on any earlier date. Got the point everyone? Next. Section 116 also completed. Next set. Section 115 and section 111. Dangerous sections of this chapter came. Listen carefully. Half an hour I will spend on these two sections because of complexity involved. Once completed, next 15 20 minutes I will complete the balance part of the chapter and close it. Okay, with that ample time of three and a four hours we spend on general meetings chapter. Clear? Such that 10 marks chapter will be completed. Like that, another 15 marks area is there. What is it? Share capital and prospectus. Huge relief will be there once all these are completed. Clear everyone? Uh, that 70 target will be completed. So please listen carefully. 115 and 111 are the two sessions we are going to begin with. What is 115? What is 111? Let us have clarity first. Okay. 115 section speaks about. 115 section speaks about. Special notice. 111 talks about. Circulation of members resolution. Circulation of members resolution. 115. Special notice. 111. Circulation of members resolution. Shall we begin? Yes, sir. What is this to? Let us first try to understand. Special notice and circulation. Generally, I said important. Listen. Generally, generally, ideas in the company will come to whom? Change in registered office. Idea comes to shareholder. Eh? Shareholder will tell a change to my home near to my residence. Who will get idea? Board of directors has to get the idea. So, ideas will always come to whom? Board of directors. But they can't implement the idea directly. They have to take the permission of shareholder. How come the shareholders will know about this? Board of directors will communicate to the shareholders using a channel of communication called as notice of a GM. Notice of a GM. Who will communicate? Communicate to whom? Using a channel called as notice of a meeting. So, board of directors will communicate to the shareholders using a channel of communication called as notice. Who got the idea? They can implement the idea directly only with the permission of shareholder. Therefore, you have to first take their permission. Take their permission at take the permission at how they know that there is a general meeting. Therefore, you will communicate. Communicate using a channel called as what? Notice of a general meeting. Who got the idea? Communicated to whom? Using a channel called as. One point everyone understood? Second point. There are four important items in companies act. Number one. One second. Removal of a director. Removal of a director. Directors can't remove directors. Simply, board of directors can't remove board of directors. Therefore, there is no question of directors getting idea to remove directors. Who will get the idea? Yeah. Members will get the idea to remove the directors because directors can't remove directors. Auditors can't be removed by directors. Hey, auditors not yeah. yes, ah, Who can't remove auditors? Directors can't remove auditors. Directors can't remove directors also. Then who should remove them? Ah, at that time problem came. Removal of auditor, removal of director. Appointment of some other person in the, in the place of removed auditor. Appointment of some other person in place of removed director. These are four cases require special notice. Listen carefully. Why? Listen carefully. Shall we? Uh, listen carefully. Point number one. Four different situations. Removal of director. Appointment of a person in the place of director mode. Yes, Next one. Passing resolution for not appointing a retiring auditor. Yes, Actually, removal of auditor don't require special notice. Resolution expressly passing that retiring auditor shall not be reappointed. Or appointing some other person in the place of retiring auditor. These four situations require 
special notice. Listen carefully why. Let us take one case. I wanted to remove director. I wanted to remove director. Who should get idea? Just now I said you forgot again. Who will get the idea? Who will not get? If board of directors got an idea, they will communicate to? Start again. Start again. You are not in this world. Generally, who will get the idea? Generally, who will get the idea? Uh, they communicate to whom? Using a channel called as? Now, in reverse, who got the idea? Member. Member has to communicate to whom? Board of directors. When you want to communicate, me. there is a channel called as a notice. Now, who want to communicate? Member want to communicate. To whom? Therefore, special notice came. Are you understanding the point or not? Special notice is a special circumstance where member will communicate about his intention. Listening uh, to the board of directors of a company. What is the mode in which he can communicate? Special notice is a channel. General thing is board giving to member. Special thing is member giving to board. That is notice. This is special notice. Understood the point clearly? Yeah. That's how special notice concept started in Companies Act. Listening, I uh, uh, will give you an example. Regular classes, I don't know how many of you have attended. Maybe some have attended. Some may not. Some attended may, may, may remember, may forget. Generally, you test after the class. Okay? Normally with any person. Ask him what is 111. Which, which is section 111? I people will tell na to test whether a big basin of rice is cooked or not. You need not check everything. Just take one grain randomly. If that is cooked, every grain will be cooked automatically. Likewise, if a person come to me, I want to conduct interview on general meetings. I will not ask any question to him. I will only ask one question. Tell something about 111, except its name. If we say that, 100% pakka he know everything about general meeting. 111, if you could not tell, doubt starts. If a person understood 111, asal you can forget, he is a genius, he is a champion in general meeting chapter. 111, if he could not, then every chance is there, he may not understand remaining sections also. Understood? Like that every chapter has one section. That one section is enough whether to check whether you are perfect in that chapter or not. And by the way, the bad thing happened is never 111 came in exam. Because institute also didn't understand what that section actually is. To ask the question first, you should know. Are you understanding or else why they don't ask you? Do you know how important really in practical cases? You come to my office, I will show you how many 111 cases we will see. So, 111 section is extremely important in practical life. But people sitting and preparing the question paper may not know the practical implications of 111. Am I clear? Supreme Court recently one case la happened on 111. Sinclair Hotels. S-I-N-C-A-I-R. Sinclair Hotels Private Limited. 111 la case only happened. Section number 111 read with section number 169. Two sections got attracted. Supreme Court gave judgment on that. Sinclair Hotels Private Limited. One level neither they gave judgment. So, but never tested in exam till now. I don't know the reasons exactly. Possible reason may be what I said. Or else why they don't test. Worst to worst question they asked in exam. They didn't ask me. They are not understanding how to ask the question. To ask the question first. I should have knowledge to ask the question. Na. If I only don't know what it is, how can I ask a question to another? Or else I should ask, write about section 111. Like that they can't ask. It's a very big section. They have to give for 12 marks. So, these all problems are making you comfortable in exam. Since they are not asking. One chance, if institute give me to prepare question paper. So, how law paper can be, how worst it can be tested. So, you can easily see if they ask questions like 111 in this chapter, okay, 111 in this chapter, variation of shareholders rights in say in a share capital chapter, variation of shareholders rights, 
over. If we ask a question, variation in shareholders' right linked with the issue of shares to differential rights. Over, I pay. Gaya, goodbye. Tata, over. Gaya, attempt to over. So, there are worst case scenarios in all the chapters. Are you understanding or not? If you ask questions on a normal past exam basis, okay. That's why I'm covering all the sections, not just past exam questions, etc. Because past exam questions, anyway, you are at least having some backing. How question will be tested, you know. 111 question not tested till now. Last to 40 years, no time this question came exam and 80 attempts. 111 section is not tested. Sir, 111 is there now. Old Companies Act 111 is there. Old Companies Act also has 111. It is section number 189. Old Companies Act. It is there also then. But not tested. Understood. So, not tested does not mean not important. Otherwise around they may not understand also how to ask the question. So, therefore, please look into the scenario. 115 specialties. Logic understood everyone. Now, first point. Tell me. When special notice? Who wanted to send a notice? Very good. Members wanted to send what? Notice. To whom? Uh, what, what? They intended to pass a resolution in the general meeting. They have to send a special notice not less than 14 days before the meeting. Everyone tell me. They should send a special notice? They should send a special notice not less than 14 days before the meeting. Who should send? Not less than how many days? That means if I give a special notice today, if I give a special notice today, meeting should be conducted within how many days, sir? 14 days is a wrong answer. Like this you should not think. One second. Today I will give special notice. Tomorrow she will give. Day after tomorrow he will give. After that, he will give. I will give today. 14 days from today, they will conduct one meeting. Tomorrow, she will give. 14 days from then, another meeting. Day after tomorrow, he will give. Another meeting. My company will become General Meetings India Limited. What you will do in your company, we will conduct general meetings. That means, if you give special notice, meeting will not be held. Knowing that a meeting is going to be held, you should give special notice. Knowing that meeting is going to be held in 21 days, you should give special notice. Listening or not? If you give special notice, meeting will be held or will not be held? If you give special notice, meeting will be held or will not be held? Will not be held. Knowing about meeting first, give the no special notice. You come to know about the meeting how many days before? Answer. You will come to know that there is a meeting how many days before? Then if I tell special notice although should be sent 21 days before, how can I send? That's why they said 14 days. One week gap was given between the date of knowing about the GM and date of giving the SN. Did you understand why 14 days was given? Tell me. You come to know about general meeting how many days before? Answer. Special notice should be given within 14. That means even after knowing about general meeting, how many days gap was given? Seven days gap is given to you. Understood the point or not? Entire special notice concept, I will put in one chart. Okay? Write on that. More, more, more than enough for the exam. You have to write that in the form of text. Section number 115. Okay. D21, D0, D21, date of notice of general meeting, date of notice of general meeting, D0, date of general meeting. Date of general meeting. 
date of general meeting next d14 d14 guess the date not date last date for giving special notice to the board of directors last date for giving the special notice to the board of directors okay uh, now tell me you gave a special notice how many days before the meeting 14 days before the meeting to whom you gave ah uh? now i will ask one question use common sense if any and answer tell me by the time you gave special notice to the board of directors notice of general meeting is already sent to the members or not answer yeah yes, sir. notice is already sent or not sent already sent to whom all members of the company yes, that means your special notice la you proposed one resolution to remove director remove someone okay you proposed removal of a director in your special notice that is known to other members or not known to other members no. therefore it is a duty of the board of directors to intimate other members procedure continues d7 last date for the board of directors to intimate the other members of the intention to pass resolution last date for board of directors to intimate the other members of the intention to pass resolution intention to pass resolution okay not completed still there so do you everyone understood the dates clearly yeah exam you have to write all these in points okay now uh, listen carefully please see here who will give the special notice here see there who will give the special notice ah uh, one member gave valid huh? no that's why they have given the limits who can give members two situations holding not less than 1% of tvp not 10% how much percent 1%, 1 of tvp or paid up share capital not less than rupees 5 lakh again no whichever is here whichever is lower any one condition you need to satisfy okay okay va wow. everyone ah uh, you sent to whom you sent to whom board of directors will send it to the other members of the company how many days gap is there one second see here see here see. i will draw the timelines in a different way see here you gave which notice this will be sent to the no no you sent to whom board of directors board of directors will take decision and send within how many days sir? to whom other members are you understanding uh, that means what is the gap between these two dates seven days only is there my company la 30 lakh shareholders are there even if i send by email daily one lakh emails i may send it take 30 days therefore but gap is only how many days sir therefore if there is a practical difficulty in sending individual notices by email give a newspaper advertisement and ask everyone to read that give a newspaper advertisement so you have two choices here right now board can intimate the members in two ways send individual notices via email if not possible or give a hmm, give a 
न्यूज पेपर एडवर्टाइजमेंट ऑब्वियसली इन टू लैंग्वेजेस वन इन इंग्लिश एंड अनदर इन दी लोकल वर्नाकुलर लैंग्वेज वेयर द रजिस्टर्ड ऑफिस व्हिच लोकल रजिस्टर्ड ऑफिस लोकल एरिया Given newspaper advertisement, one in English and another one in the local vernacular language. Completed? Okay. First, tell me, everyone, did you understand section one fifteen clearly? Yeah, everyone. Yes, sir. That's all. With the special notice concept, also is completed. This is one fifteen section along with the rules. I said everything. Okay. After going home, if you read as it is, you will find there. okay first point one by one tell me no special notice will be given how many days before the notice how many days before the meeting answer who can give a special notice yes, members holding not less than 1% of the total voting power or not less than 5 lakh in the paid share capital they can give which notice special notice number 2 after that you will submit it within how many days before the meeting 14 then what is the duty of the board of directors to circulate the special notice to the other members of the company either by way of a individual notices or by way of a newspaper advertisement one in english another one in the local language where the register office of the company is situated i want to ask you one question answer can one member give a special notice yes provided if you hold 1% capital or 5 lakh number 1 number 2 shall we continue yes, tell me if i give a special notice meeting will be held or will not be held if i give special notice meeting will be held or knowing about a meeting you should give special notice ah that means special notice is subject to meeting ah meeting is subject to special notice ah you didn't understand the statement also special notice is dependent on meeting ah meeting is dependent on special notice ah Special notice is dependent on meeting. Meeting is not dependent on special notice. Meeting is dependent on notice. Listening or not? So tell me. Special notice is dependent on meeting. A meeting is dependent on special notice. Ah, uh, that means if I give special notice, meeting will be held or will not be held. Ah, everyone. Then why you are giving notice? then why you are giving what is the use of special notice when you can't conduct a meeting using special notice why you are giving special notice is given for adding agenda adding the agenda. who will prepare agenda ha huh? this is a members prepared agenda understood the logic of special notice section or not here see here see here see here see here once what is sent who said ha huh? in this what will be there a uh, agenda is a board prepared agenda to this agenda i wanted to add my agenda that's what the special notice section says what you understand the point or not it is the members prepared agenda added to the board's agenda are you the point clearly Uh, this is the logic and ideology behind this particular area called as special notice everyone understood the concept clearly yes, with this we also completed another area called as special notice next coming into the most complicated section of this chapter circulation of members resolution circulation of members resolution circulation of members resolution once this is completed minutes will take hardly 5 minutes the bachcha concept ya minutes it's procedural section once that is completed maximum everything will be updated except the postal ballot and electronic voting postal ballot and electronic voting is a mere procedure that's why i'm keeping all the procedural sections at the last what do you mean by procedure 
you have to read and remember okay those are not logical interpretations like this important never i said unimportant don't blame me if it comes in exam i am not telling those are unimportant i am telling those are important eh? but uh, why i keep it last mean those are all procedure based you have to read and remember them even if i tell 100 times you have to read again vote by poll vote by show of hands special notice these are not procedure based these are all interpretation based you should understand then only you will remember 14 is logic you will never forget because you know the logic now why 14 are you understanding or not their electronic voting la what they will do how to retrieve the password how to take the login id are you understanding or not give news paper advertisement about electronic voting all these are what remembrance based sections yeah for that i don't want to waste my time listening ah so therefore i am putting them at the last remaining we complete first so listen now circulation of members resolution what is this concept before going into that i am putting it before you first try to give one reading 5 minutes for your time remaining 10 minute i will take and complete read read first पुष्पीर <laughs> 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 complete reading ha uh. see here i don't know whether you really read or not but as responsibility i gave you time later you should not tell if you would have given the chance i would have easily cracked what is one level therefore i ask you to read but you are very busy <laughs> so let us understand what is this section 
circulation of members resolution. What is this concept? See here. Special notice is a democratic right given to the shareholders of a company because four ordinary businesses are there. Accounts, dividend, directors, auditors. Accounts is not something which you will take any decision already prepared. Dividend, it's only a decision taken. But auditors and directors are directors and auditors are most important two things in a company. One person will manage the company, one person will report to the public. Public here represents members, not public at large. Members, he is a person acting like a bridge between the company and uh, uh, members investing in the company. Who? Are they? He is external key, internal key, he is like a Varadhi. He is like a bridge. Understood? So who is the bridge between these two? Chartered accountants are the bridge between company and the public, general public reporting. Key. Therefore, two important persons are there in a the company. One director, second one auditor. You want to remove these two people. It's a democratic right. It's one of the most important right. Therefore, they said, just if you hold 1% TVP, how much? 1% TVP. You can take a decision on taking those uh, two decisions because those are the democratic rights given to me. Me means whom? <laughs> Members of a company. Listening? Ah, I will ask you one question. Tell me. If I give a special notice, director or auditor will be removed. Correct or wrong? If I give a special notice as member, director or auditor will be removed. Right or wrong? No. If you give special notice, they won't be removed. If you give special notice, you will get a right to add agenda to remove the director. Reminding shareholders only should approve that. Listening or not? Special notice don't give a right to remove. Special notice will give a right to add your agenda to remove. Listening? Ah. Therefore, since those are the democratic rights given under companies act, they said 1% voting power also enough. How much voting power? Voting power also enough. But I am a member of a company. I wanted to propose such a business, such a resolution, other than those four. Other than those uh, four means audit, not LDA. Listen. Auditor appointment of another person in the blame of retiring auditor or resolution passing not to appoint the, reappoint the retiring auditor or removal of a director or appointment of another person in the place of director removed. In these four cases, I have what right? Special notice right. How much amount of share capital is required? One person is enough. One percent is enough because those four are ordinary businesses related. Therefore, even with one person holding, you can take a decision on that. All other decisions of a company, if a member wanted to take, special notice will not be possible. In that case, one level will come into the picture. Which section will come out? Loudly. Read the section now. A company shall, uh, on requisition in writing, of such number of members as required under section 100 means one percent is not enough i should hold not less than sorry not less than one tenth of the paid up share capital also called as the total voting power 100 is egm yeah morning we read uh, how much you should hold not less than one tenth of the total voting power means a paid up capital one tenth you should hold then only you can give now tell me, special notice required one tenth of TVP, one percent of TVP. Someone not listening. Special notice required one percent of TVP, one tenth of TVP, one percent of TVP. Next, uh, this uh, uh, one hundred requires one tenth of the TVP, not one percent. Require how much? One tenth. One fifteen special notice required one percent voting. 1% power to propose the agenda, to, prepare, to propose any other agenda, other than the agenda covered by 115, you don't require just 1%, you should hold how much percent? 1 tenth percent. Secretly to tell 10% you should hold. Up to here, understood or not? Yes, Next, this section coverage is much bigger than special notice. 
Because special notice cover how many situations? This will cover all other than those four. So which is having more magnitude? One level. This should be understood by the institute asking question. Then they can frame a question on this. Are you understanding or not? Okay. So when this will get attracted, sir, you so big in my little yard. Later, so three months back, one case came to office. One company is there. Okay. One company. That company is in pharmaceuticals. Swastik Pharmaceuticals Private Limited. Okay. That particular company, you can search on Google also. Swastik Pharmaceuticals Private Limited. That company went for merger. Went for? Merger with another company. Merger idea came to members because they are holding 70% capital. Merger idea came to members. Members want to conduct a meeting. Then idea came to whom? Members. Who will conduct the meeting? Members. Are you understanding? Huh? Agenda has to be proposed or not? Agenda. What should be proposed? Agenda. agenda. Agenda has to be proposed or not for that uh, uh, meeting. Already one meeting is proposed by company. They got the notice. They also got an idea. Why can't we propose this particular resolution? They wanted to propose. At that time, problem came. Special notice concept of 1% is not enough. How much is it right now? One tenth the capital is required in order to propose a resolution for any case other than the cases governed by 115. Are you understanding the point or not? This is how you should first understand this. Up to here, everyone had a clarity. Second, why this section is a more magnitude and gravity carrying section than 115? Reason number two. This is section. In this section, we will propose a agenda. Correct or not? 115 law, what we will do? Propose a very bad response. 150 law, what we will do? Propose a agenda. 111 law, what you will do? Propose a agenda. No. You will propose agenda in the first case. That is resolution. Second one is a statement circulation. Second one is a Statement circulation, that is uh, very important. Listen carefully. How the question can be tested? If at all, he has to ask. See here. Shall we? Yes, company going for buyback. Company going for? Buyback. Company going for? Buyback. What is the disadvantage of a buyback in a company? If company go for a buyback, resource and surplus will fall. What will fall? Resource and surplus will fall. Because of that, market price may fall. Certain problems are there with buyback. Advantages are there. Disadvantages are also equally there because of going for a buyback. Listening or not. Yes, Therefore, companies, for advantage sake, they go for a buyback. Buyback decision requires special resolution. We will discuss today. Air capital chapter will come now. Yes, when we come there, I will discuss. Buyback required? Yes, Better response. Buyback required? Yes, Requires special resolution. What requires special resolution? Buyback requires special resolution. Now listen carefully. Buyback requires special resolution. Means general meeting has to be conducted or not? Before passing the special resolution or conducting GM, you should give a? Not answering. You should give a? How many days before? How many days before? I am also a member. I also received. I am a member. I am a member come chartered accountant. Member come chartered accountant and I know how buyback will impact a company? All of you are non cas Okay. <laughs> Not that way. Other uh, areas, so you are engineers, doctors, businessmen, all these you are. You are not CAs. Say example. Company should notice to all that there is a buyback going on. I am a chartered accountant among you. I know how buyback will impact the company. You people don't know about buyback. What you are thinking? Abba! Market price of the company today is 200. Buyback the company is offering 220. Let me accept. But you are not understanding that price will go to 300 after 3 months. Yes, this is advantageous buyback. Disadvantage buyback for you. Yes, Disadvantage because they are buying only at 220. For a share which will reach 300 after another 3 months. Yes, Therefore we are the persons who will become fool if you act up the buyback. What you are seeing, today's market price you are seeing. Today 200, company offering 220. Let me accept. This is your thought process. As a chartered accountant, I analyzed the company future decisions. On that basis, I understood that price will not go up to 220, will go up to 320. Company is cheating us in the name of buyback. 
how do you people know about this you will not know i will know but with one person voting decision will not change therefore i will write a statement to, to all of you now are mutal don't accept the decision like this are you understanding or not do will become mutal da if you accept the decision they are trying to cheat you company share price will reach 300 in another three months time intentionally they are buying from us at 220 like a herd of sheep man don't come to the meeting and pass resolution you become fool i wanted to communicate this to you how can i communicate in the general meeting i can stand and shout that's why i will write a statement to all my dear shareholders of so and so company i received the notice of general meeting where b back has been proposed by the company at a price of 220 where the running price is 200 but as per the future prospects of the company i am expecting that price will go minimum up to 320 therefore i request every one of you to take correct decision no one should tell don't accept who are you to tell okay i request all of you to understand this decision and pass a appropriate resolution in the general meeting you are thanking you you faithfully akash in case chartered accountant like that i will write and i will send to company board of directors will now circulate this resolution that's why name came as circulation of members resolution are you understanding the point or not now board has to circulate that same special notice type listening ah uh, i will circulate to the members members will read it they will come to the meeting and they will take an appropriate decision this is the logic of this section tell me why this section came two purposes yeah what is the first purpose to propose a agenda ha uh. endi propose agenda other than the agenda covered by section number 115 second reason to circulate a statement to circulate a now you should answer one question you are circulating a statement in that statement if you abuse my company if you use bad words every chance is there or not are this is one of the most worst company i have seen in my life beep 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 like this you used all words and you have written circulation of members notice you said this company is a p the directors of the company are p p you used all beep language and you have written a notice to the members it is abuse to the company or not in that is what will happen that's why if you read the section this point came for that company should not be bound to circulate any statement under clause b if on application of company or other person claims to be aggrieved that rights conferred by this section are abused to secure needless publicity for defamatory matters if any bad language or person write in the notice want him to become more popular publicity for the purpose if he write nonsense then complaint will be made to the tribunal complaint will be made to the whatever the cost company incurred for all these things will be reimbursed from that person nice section understood point or not this is how they drafted this understood the point clearly or not uh, remaining one or two points you read and understand later it's not the time to read everything in 111 understood the ideology of 111 clearly yeah yes, tell me why 111 came again say question Why 111 came? Are they either to propose a resolution other than resolutions mentioned under 115 or uh, circulate any statement? Circulate any statement? Now answer my question. One last question for you. Uh, whenever, whenever you make any specialties under 115, how much capital you require? 1% of tvp or 5 lakh correct yes, here you require 1% of tvp or 1/10th of the tvp answer 1/10th of the tvp i told you clearly special notice is given for four are important four things remaining all are not that important for company correct since you may you might get one doubt or you should have got a doubt sir you will do special notice company give advertisement advertisement will be costly for company or not 
Other sudden, everyone will use special notice and company will either cost on it. But you can't do anything, yeah? But you can't do anything. Those four are four important matters for the company. You can't deny that. You should enter advertisement cost. You should spend one lakh. Listening or not? Other than those four, all other are not that important. Correct? But you are proposing that you only pay the cost. Now all the dots are linked. Uh, why this section has come? You only pay the cost sufficient to meet the expenses. Advertisement you are asking me to give. Uh, I will give. You give money. Advertisement uh, I will give direct publicity. Instagram uh, relay I will put. You give money for that. Understood the point clearly? That's what this section wanted to convey. With this we completed most dangerous section. Uh, section number 111 as well. Everyone understood the concept clearly? Yeah. With this, we completed section number 111. Last and final touch, sit for five minutes, we'll complete all important other sections. Listen, there are, there is one section, one concept linked to three sections. 118, 119, 120. Minutes. Minutes will contain, listen, five minutes I said. Minutes will contain summary of, minutes will contain summary of proceedings at a general meeting. Summary, eh? Minute mean minute to minute they will not write. Minutes mean minute to minute, you know, but then why name came as minute? They will write the time stamp and write, including minutes. 10, 16 a.m. like that they will write. They are very specific about minutes. That's why name came as minutes. That does not mean minute to minute you should write. Eight hours meeting will be conducted. How many hours? Uh, at 480 times he has to write. He will die here. Uh, Chairman of the company snowed for five seconds. <laughs> Directors of the company has took blue bottle. Okay, uh, he drank water. He kept on table. Company secretary seeing someone. <laughs> so, like that, I can't write each and every point. Na. It will be extremely difficult for anyone to do. That does not mean the minute. Minutes means it does not mean minute to two minutes you should write. Whenever you write something, write along with the timestamp of hour with the minutes. That's why name came as minutes book. Okay. Oh, sorry, keep it. Point number one. I will tell six to seven points on minute. These are all the important points. Listen carefully. Minute will be the summary of the proceedings at GM, RBM, RCM, RCRM. What is GM? DM, CM, committee meeting. CRM, credit or meeting. Minutes is required for general meeting only. Yeah, all meetings are. Separate minutes book must be kept for each and every meeting. Okay? Starting law, middle law audit, backside taxation, like that you should not write. Our books will be there, na? From front side, law will start, backside accounts, middle tax will come. Like that you should not prepare one book for all meetings. Separate, 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 distinct minutes book. When I say book, really a book only. Loose leaf paper, so you should not write the minutes. Minutes should be kept in the form of a book. It should be consecutively numbered. It should be consecutively numbered. Which one? Minutes book. Minutes will be prepared by the company secretary. Signed by the chairman of this meeting or chairman of the next meeting. Listening or not? Next very, very important thing. Minutes book will be kept at the registered office of a company. Preserved permanently. Preserved permanently. Minutes relating to the minutes relating to the general meetings will be signed by the chairman of that meeting. Chairman of? If the chairman is unable or died during this time, then it will be signed by the director authorized by the board of directors of the company. Listening? Huh? Next, these are all procedures. Eh? Small, small sections only. Listen carefully. Now answer. What is minutes? What it contain? Full details are summary. Yeah. summary. Which summary? Fair and correct. Fair and correct. Not true and fair. That is books of account. This is fair and correct summary of proceedings at the which meeting? General meeting? Board meeting? Committee meeting? Credit card meeting. Number two. Minutes in papers are books are. Which book? Distinct minutes book must be kept for general meeting, board meeting, committee meeting, credit card meeting. Who will prepare minutes? 
who will sign the minutes chairman listening uh, minutes should be how it should be numbered consecutively numbered next one minutes of a minutes contains the details or not those details will be prepared by the chairman means what company secretary will write the minutes in the meeting on a loose leaf papers okay that will be finalized by the chairman after the meeting within 30 days with how many days sir 30 days within 30 days of conclusion of the meeting loose leaf papers la whatever secretary has written that will be brought into the bound book by the chairman yes, listening or not yes, therefore loose leaf papers la you have written 150 points okay in that certain points are defamatory points certain points are against to our company certain points are irrelevant or immaterial those all will be excluded by the chairman who can't exclude directors can't exclude secretary can't exclude auditors can't exclude who can exclude chairman will take a discretionary decision to exclude the matters okay so point number one who have right to exclude the matters has a right to do what exclude the matters or not to include the matters into the minutes book listening or not which are Again, to the company, detrimental to the company. Second one, defamatory of any person or irrelevant or immaterial. Those items will be included or not included. Not included. These are certain important points. Its book will be kept at the? Preserved for? Permanently, not eight years. Preserved permanently till the company is there. Listen, minutes will be used as a evidence. Conclusive evidence. Something is written in the minutes and approved means it will become a conclusive evidence. We believe that it is there. I didn't conduct a general meeting. I have written in the minutes book. Okay? Meeting is conducted on so and so dated so and so time and these people attended the meeting. That's all. It will become conclusive evidence. Though meeting is not held. Minutes book like you have written. Meeting is assumed to be held. Resolutions are really passed. Huh? No. Resolutions are deemed to have been passed. That's how really we will do for private companies in real life. <laughs> private company, wife and husband will be there. Yeah? Our brothers will be there. Yeah? Dining table is enough for them. <laughs> Why general meeting? They don't conduct any meeting. They will tell, sir, these are the decisions we are going to take. We will write a dummy notice. They will just uh, sign and send us back. Over, that's all. Private companies, uh, really, they won't conduct general meetings. What will be the evidence? Minutes, uh, we will write now. On so and so date, we conducted meeting. That's all. That will become conclusive evidence. Understood the point or not? This is what said in 118 section. Which section? 118. Inspection of minutes. Next section. Members can inspect. Who can? During the business hours with restrictions reasonably provided, you can inspect the minutes. This is 119. Minutes can be kept in the electronic form. Minutes can be kept in the electronic form. That means minutes can be kept not just in a physical form, it can also be maintained in a electronic form. That is what said in section number 120. These are 118, 119, and 120. Up to here, everyone understood the concept clearly? Yes, everyone? Yes, Last one, just for two minutes, I will conclude. Later, you take time and read. Two sessions are there. Postal ballot and electronic means. Simple logic here. Yeah? Vote by show of hands. People will come physically to the meeting. Vote by poll. People will come physically to the meeting. Postal ballot and electronic means la, people will not come to the meeting. Listening or not? They will sit at their place. Remote e-voting will be conducted. What will be conducted? Remote e-voting system will start. You can vote by electronic means. You will be given a password and a login ID retrieval. Procedure is there in the study metal. You just read and leave. Exam la rarely question will come from electronic voting. But don't leave, just give one reading. Okay, na? So postal ballot also same. So then what is the difference between postal ballot and electronic voting system? Electronic voting system is a system of voting. Postal ballot is a system of meeting. Tell me. What is what I said? EVS is a voting alternative. Postal ballot is a meeting alternative. That's why if you read postal ballot section, instead of conducting general meeting postal ballot, 
Electronic voting is not like that. Even if you conduct electronic voting, physical meeting will be again held. Listening or not everyone. So you can either vote through electronic means or you can go to the meeting. Postal ballot, la meeting will not be there. Postal ballot is deemed as a general meeting. Deemed as a deemed as a so these are all the important points. Remind only procedures involved. Just give one reading for half an hour. Write all the important points on a notes and complete it. It's only procedure. Logic, did you understand the difference? Sir? Electronic voting system is a system of voting. Postal ballot is a system of meeting. There is a lot of difference between both of them. Understood the point clearly? Yeah? With this, we completed the one very big chapter called as general meetings. Take a break and come. We start with another two chapters, DO, called as share capital and prospectus.